So, uh, hello and welcome to Imperium's Greek Wars. I'm here with Pavel, the lead developer of the game, and we're going to be playing the uh, Peloponnese scenario. Uh, so, Pavel, how about you tell people about yourself? Hello, everyone. Um, it's uh, good to be here, and uh, I'm happy that you are here with us. All right, so I am going to be playing as Argolis and uh, create the lobby, and then you will be, I believe, Messenia. Yeah, exactly. So, it's uh, let me choose my faction, and now you should be able to start the game. Lovely. We'll play the uh, the intro video for them as well. The intro video is actually played uh, separately uh, for each player in multiplayer, so you can you can just play it, and I will skip mine. Here, the shadow of Sparta stretches long and deep. This venerable nation has always felt that the peninsula is its territory. This pushed many other city-states to seek alliance with Athens and Thebes, who welcomed this chance to destabilize Sparta's position. Argolis, once a powerful city itself, lost its authority to Spartan long ago. And now it awaits opportunity for retribution. In contrast, Achaia keeps out of the Hellenic politics, its only concern to keep its territories on both sides of the Corinthian Gulf. Elise is a small, rich country with a beautiful capital and famous Olympia, where athletes come to compete every four years for the olive wreath. It shyly sides with Sparta in hopes of remaining unnoticed. Unlike its two neighbors, landlocked Arcadia, and rebellion Messenia. Each has an unsettled bill with Sparta, and so they allied with Boeotia and armed themselves with a plan for final revenge. While it may seem life on the Peloponnese is a peaceful stream, underneath the surface, rising tensions bubbles with jealousies and old injustices. Lovely. So I've now had uh, the video play. And there is the introduction to Argolis. We're situated in the eastern part of the southern Hellas. It has great economic potential thanks to its fertile plains and ready access to the sea, which provide an excellent basis for trade. However, its relatively small population limits the development of infrastructure as well as its military strength. Historically, Argos, the dominant city-state in the area, was a rising power, offering Sparta one of its main rivals. However, in attempting to remain neutral during the Peloponnesian War, it lost its supremacy and influence. Recently, it considered uniting with Corinth to form an expanded Argolid state, but the attempt unfortunately did not last long. Perhaps a strong political and military stand could once change the balance of power in the region. The future of the nation is now in my hands. Honor the vision of our ancestors and continue their great deeds. Your predecessor has already laid out some plans called objectives that we can find in the objectives menu. For, uh, sorry, in the yeah, state menu and state window. Follow in their steps and fulfill your destiny. Nice. Very well. Uh, so obviously we've got some technology as well that we can potentially take. Uh, riding school so we can get ourselves some prodromoi cavalry. Sounds like a good idea to take that, because I can't afford astrology. Sounds good. Alright, and then again, I will just start off my turn by getting myself a road built out to this, uh, I guess this iron mine. The uh, What is the exact benefit of having uh, roads to your resources? I know it gives you more, but how much more efficient is it? Well, it depends on the connection. So, if you if you connect if you have it connected only by land, so it's not on different islands, then there is like thirty percent. Uh, if it, if you connect it by the dirt road, which is which is the only road which, which we have available now, it's like sixty six percent, so two thirds. And if you connect it by the paved road, it's actually doubled. So, so yeah, it's very beneficial to connect those mines to uh, with cities. And uh, once you have blacksmith. You should probably try to build one and connect it to blacksmith as well. So the blacksmiths, 10 gold, 10 stone, 6 wood, and 5 slaves. That is slaves, isn't it? Oh, citizens. So sl citizens, slaves, same thing, let's be fair. Um, so we can build one of those. That seems like a good idea as well. Uh, yeah, let's build one right there. 
So I've started my turn by starting a road being built to a iron mine. I've built a blacksmith and I've just moved around a couple of my units. Maybe I should maybe specialize. We should also maybe maybe also try to increase the uh, the birth rate as as much as you can. That's a good one. Because you are actually starting with um, quite a low population, and you might need it later. So, uh, what would be your recommendation for how much I should? Well, give, give it one hundred now. I mean, oh. one turn you will be you will be able to survive the first turn, and then you will see how much it is, and you can you can tweak it. Uh, uh, or tune it down. Sounds good. All right. So birth rate, one hundred. Everyone can have a free Sunday dinner if they have a baby. <laughs> uh, so objectives. What they want me to. Oh, I've got. What is my objectives? I'm, all I'm seeing right now is a map. It wants me to take Crete, I think. Uh, well, there are two different uh, two different views on the objectives. There is this objective map, which is just kind of a hint of all uh, of um, on the map, which shows you where and what you should do. But if you want to know if you want to know what exactly you should do, then you should go to the state window, and there is this uh, objective um, list of objectives with the description. Ah, oh, yes, I see it now. So my objectives are to become a military power. I'm 47% through that. I need to have a bigger population. I need to have allies, uh, and I have none allies right now. Maybe that should change. And then it wants me to conquer Crete, as I have no colonies whatsoever. I think maybe we should talk to some people as well and get some allies. Let's start with talking to Messenia. Would you like <laughs> to be a friend... Where is, well, where is are the... are you going to talk uh, talk to me uh, through the game or uh, or on uh, the phone? I mean, <laughs> I, I was I was planning on, on sending you an alliance yeah, request. Yeah, well, um, sure. Uh, sign of federation. Yeah, annexation. Do, would you like to be annexed by me? Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly why I <laughs> wanted to play multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we, we we might start with some treaties. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll have city visibility so I can see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, sure. Uh, tile visibility, map exchange, uh, peaceful passage, trade route access, supply support, defense pass. Just, don't... just all of the things. No, no. <laughs> don't please, please don't put there the def uh, defensive pact and defense pact and brothers in arms because it's uh, something you really should uh, think through. Okay. Which it basically means that every time I go to war, you go to war, and it might not be that um, convenient for you in a, a time. So uh, I would say that let's let's uh, skip those two for now <laughs> and see how it goes. I just have a, a smaller pack for now. Uh, yeah. So one of the things that I've been a little bit confused about, or been a little bit. Um, no, I don't think confuse the right word, but not not really sure about what I should be doing is for trade. How should I be valuing uh, different um, trade resources? And I'm getting these offers from the AI saying, um, oh, if you give us, you choose what you give us and we will give you some knowledge and food for it. And I've, I've never really known what exactly I should be Offering them in return for you know certain goods, like I, I'm not sure about the value of certain things. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, right. Well, um, this is this is a question we uh, we get uh, some time from time to time on uh, the forum. Well, basically, if you go for a dinner, then you also decide if you can uh, if you can afford to uh, to buy a fish or you have to just have a soup. So this is the same thing. Like if you if you know that you uh, you have. Um, uh, scarce gold, then you value uh, value it uh, higher than w when stones. If you have uh, a lot of them, so so it's really about demand and offer, and uh, you decide what's what's the value. Fair enough. It's pretty much uh, the trade itself is kind of uh, the way the trading works here is kind of like an eBay system. So there is the min bid and. Um, it actually tries to tries to the market should actually value how much it is. All right. 
so so it's up to you and also up to the the opponent how much uh, how much the opponent will be able to give you for that all right sounds good well i think i've finished my turn so I'm okay gonna... so let's give it a try now all right so i'm gonna click end turn and then i'm gonna switch my screen over so you'll yeah. be watching pavel's turn right so I can I can uh, now uh, I can now see the long and deep. the intro. I will skip that. Uh, I also uh, will not uh, read the whole introduction. Uh, <laughs> the the first part is the same for the for every faction in the game because it's the it's the scenario. And then there is this uh, Messenia introduction, which uh, which is quite interesting. But I'm pretty sure that uh, people want to see some action already. So let's go into that. Uh, first thing, what I see is that I need to select the technology, uh, so that's a good start. Uh, and I can see that I don't have yet very important technology called uh, coinage. And uh, there is this improvement, city improvement called trading, uh, which makes a city more profitable and they are actually producing gold instead of consuming. So I will. I will set the the development or research for that, and then there is uh, one thing uh, which is the research time. You can basically invest uh, more resources to the research, which will uh, eventually um, develop the technology earlier, or you can uh, you can leave it uh, on lower values, which will take longer and cost less. Uh, sometimes there there are even uh, higher speeds up, so you can you can have like three turns, but I don't have. Uh, more resources to speed it up more so I will simply go with seven turns and uh, I already have treaty for from Lord Lambert yes <laughs> asking for uh, city visibility time visibility unit visibility and map exchange it all sounds good uh, there's no harm in that and um, oh yeah I still have the government city state uh, which basically means that for now I'm quite okay I have just uh, three cities but That's more than I me. Will... Yeah, yeah, I know. But but the but the difference between us is that uh, you are not that um, threatened by by the uh, by the neighbors. Uh, here, it's not a good situation because uh, Sparta actually doesn't like me at all. Uh, if I will go to the diplomacy window, you will see that uh, it's not good, and Sparta is uh, way way stronger than we are yeah. so what i will do uh, i will first just check if i can build i cannot build blacksmith that's one of the one of the differences between us because uh, you will be able to to basically um make the economy profitable more uh, once the blacksmith is finished but i still don't have it researched so what i will do at least i will uh, i cannot even build the trading yet <laughs> so yeah so there is not much i can actually do so what i will do is i will first uh, connect the uh, mines and uh, and queries and i will move my armies to the to the borderline and what i will do i will try to uh, i cannot yet but i will uh, i will offer sparta uh, some gifts like food uh, just to improve our relationships because um, i really don't want to go with uh, to war with sparta that that uh, quickly and i will also increase the birth rate support for to 100 for now so that's basically f all from my side uh i might actually well, no, no, I will. Uh, that's it's okay. I will leave it for now. So I'm ending the turn, and you can you can change the screen again. All right. So I'm back to mine, and the envoy has succeeded. Surprisingly, I wasn't I wasn't sure if Messenia would uh, accept my my trade request, uh, but <laughs> uh, yeah, the treaty has been signed, and now, uh, well, you guys have been able to see his screen all throughout his turn. But for me, it's the first time looking. I can have a look. See oh yeah, that's actually cities. the difference. Yeah. I, I also uh, uh, was I was actually watching your stream, but it's uh, there is this delay, so I wasn't sure what what you are going to offer uh, the treaties. So it's 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 interesting that we don't see that much as the um, as the subscribers. So. Yeah, they're they're seeing everything. Lucky fools. All right, uh, I'm gonna bring my uh, peltasts down south to the Spartan border as well. I'm. I'm, I'm a little worried about them also if they want to attack me they're gonna to have to go over a um, 
Actually, that's not a river, is it? That's just the border. I've got no defensive terrain with Sparta. That scares me quite a bit. Um, but uh, but I think that the that the relationship between you and Sparta is much better than uh, than um, mine. So the Spartans are not such a threat for you. Maybe you, you should you should check out the diplomacy uh, diplomacy window yeah, to find out what's the relationship. They're distant, so it's not amazing. But um, but what <laughs> what have you got them at? Is... Well, I have, and I, I, I don't know. It's like uh, almost at the bottom. Because I know that oh, Mycenae. Yeah, the... is not that better. That's yeah, true. We're, we're we're fairly in the same boat. Yeah, I know that Mycenae is like the uh, the slave rebels from Sparta. Exactly. So I can I can understand why they hate you, but like I, I'm just their rival. Like they shouldn't hate me that much. There's actually not much I can do either because I've already got both of my cities. Um, yeah, I, building the, the trading. Turn, that yeah, yeah. The, uh, I think that it will be uh, pretty, uh, pretty fast, uh, like the pace of the of the turns right now, because uh, it's a small map and uh, we are small factions. So, so the the start. It... All right. Well, I'm thinking then maybe maybe I should try and talk to Manitea. See if they've got anything that I can do there. I mean, we're cordial together. We've already got a bunch of um, treaties already. City visibility, tile visibility, all that kind of good stuff. Um, I would like to trade with them, but I don't recall how. Uh, well, you uh, you can just click on that uh, political map, yeah, and then... There are two two ways. The first one is that you go to the particular section of the diplomacy window with uh, with one and go to the trade there, or, or you oh, can then, see the yeah. whole or trade overview, and which will show you trade. what what the factions want and what they uh, demand, right? Or what they offer. So, what should I ask from Arcadia? What do I need? I mean, I could offer them some coal because I've got a fair bit of that. I think. Offer them five coal. I've got plenty of. I uh, don't really want to give them influence. That would be bad. Uh, recommend to offer some wood. I've only got two point nine wood. That's a bad idea. Well, do you actually need wood? I would say two point nine is really not much. Yeah. And the Peloponnese, in uh, in general, has a big problem with wood. So. So wood is really scarce here, and uh, we we actually, when we were playing this another time, uh, we were fighting for wood basically. So definitely don't trade wood. That's what that's what everyone wants. Uh, I think I'm going to ask for five stone in return for five coal. Maybe that that's something you might be interested in. Yeah, sounds good. Maybe you can also lower it just because it's per turn. So five uh, oh, is a lot for Oh, yeah, no, just one then. Just one extra yeah. per turn sounds actually much more palatable. Um, trade duration. Ah, yeah, there we go. Risk of robbery, 1%. We're going to lose 5% of it, but that should be okay. And sign trade. Offer my proposal. There we go. So hopefully they're going to say yes to that. We'll see. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to hit end turn again. Every time you have an option to to get some wood, then do it. Because uh, it's really... I think that the only player which has enough uh, wood is uh, is Arcadia. It's the it's the guy in the middle of the Peloponnese. So uh, so if you have an option to, to get some wood, then do... I, I will do the same. <laughs> So what I will do, I will uh, send some food to Sparta. They actually want food, which is great for, uh, and I can take advantage of it. And I will because uh, this will considerably, on, in a long term, improve the relationship. And what I will do, I will also ask for that wood. Uh, by the way, you can you can just uh, click here in the lower left corner on the on the trade uh, overview, and you will see all the factions, uh, oh, yeah. what they offer and what they demand. And if I will just uh, look at their requests, oh, well, they, they still, most of them have food, uh, have food, which is good, but they don't offer it. So they are okay with that, but well, anyway, I will, I will ask my, uh, my neighbor, Alice, and I will 
offer them one gold for two wood and let's see if it will work so that's that's pretty much it i'm, I'm working on the trading and yeah i can also check uh, check out my objectives i have also population as you have uh, then the alliance i basically uh, my objective is to get uh, get someone on my side uh, uh, from all the factions except for uh, boeotia and uh, sparta which are the which are the um, leaders here uh, economy yeah that's something for later and this is um Liberate would behave us to guard our newly obtained freedom, which will, which we build our nation anew. Yeah, this means that I actually need to survive. This is like <laughs> a boost a booster for me. So five years it is. Uh, I think it's like uh, twenty turns, and if I will survive, then I will get some yeah, some boost. Lovely. So it's it's pretty much it for now. Uh, I will just uh, keep connecting those mines. Yeah, that's a good idea. And. Yeah, and the population is growing, so it's all good. I, I'm pretty sure uh, you can switch the switch the scene now. I'm pretty sure that we will we will get to some kind of conflict soon, because it's going pretty fast here. Oh, um, Arki have accepted my trade offer, so that's good. Uh, also, gold I make plus one point five. Uh, coal I'm actually losing now that I'm giving some away. Stone I'm now up to 3.7. Food is... Ooh, food is not good. So maybe what I want to do... F food is not good? What do you mean? I think that you have like 13 or... F I have... Something. I do have 13, but I'm losing one a turn, which is... Yeah, but you know, it's actually... A, it's regrowing every turn. So, so the food oh, when you right. have more than ten, yes. it means that you are absolutely fine. Okay, you can that's even fair. trade some. And by by the way, the coal it will be uh, it will be used once uh, once your blacksmith uh, blacksmith finished. So just keep some reserves, just in case. Because once you have uh, lack of coal, then the blacksmith will not uh, multiply the the production. All right. And what should I do with my fleet? What, what, what's what's a good use for him? Well, you can you can go to Crete. Oh that's right, one yeah, of your, no. yeah, totally. That's one of your objectives, and it's now it's now um, it's actually like an independent nation, or no one no one owns it. So if you are uh, fast enough, then you will basically just claim it. But you need, to, any... you need to you uh, need to get on board a uh, unit. Yeah, no, that's probably a good <laughs> idea. Uh, so, next turn, my fleet's going to start moving back home again. <laughs> <laughs> I was just using him to explore. Um, Alright, so that's that then. Uh, oh, I forgot to add you to it as well. I think I want... Argos is still doing trading, so I can't do anything with him just yet. I definitely want to get myself another settler. Um, so I can build more stuff at once, more roads, more... more fields, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but for but right it's a bit, now... er, bit early for that now. I think that the the number uh, number of citizens, it will not allow you. Okay. All right, I've only got one. Pretty sure I had three before. And now it's down No, to... it's, it's slaves. Oh, no. the slaves. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay, I've got one slave. And citizens are at 7.9. Okay, fair enough. You just keep the the birth rate control on 100, and uh, you will soon see a um, higher increase. Okay. Well, I'm. I think I'm done for my turn again then. Okay. So the trade was rejected with uh, with Alice. I, I actually accepted. Uh, I was expecting that, and Sparta uh, accepted my gift, which is which is good. So do they they still hate you or are they good with you now? Like how how No, it will take many turns. I mean, uh it's good that they accepted that because uh, the uh, the relationship will slowly uh, improve, but it will take many turns. So what I will do now, I will just uh, build the the fields which will uh, allow me to to increase the food production which I will be able to trade later and give away. Yeah. <laughs> So, so basically, if you uh, 
if you look at how, how much food you, you produce, then um, the, there is there is basic, basically a couple of things which are related to the food production. You can see the, um, the yields, then how much the cities consume slaves uh, as well. And then there is this uh, spoiled, which is basically from all the stockpile you have, uh, part is spoiled. And then the next turn, a new uh, new is produced, new food. So so it's it's growing every turn, uh, and you uh, the spoiled um, food can be traded. It's better. So so that's that's the way you you can actually uh, get some get get some goods basically for free because otherwise uh, you will uh, it will be just spoiled. I guess I'll try and uh, trade some food away then, and and see if uh, anyone else yeah. wants it, and give me like wood in in return or something. Yeah. Okay, I will. I will just once again look at the. Um... And I will say as well, if uh, people in chat, if you've got any questions, then feel free to ask them. We're both reading the chat, so uh, we can. Uh, well, I if I see it, I'll pass your question on to somebody who who knows. And if he sees it, then uh, then of course Pablo can can just answer. Okay, so now I'm ending my my turn. So what I what I did, I offered. Uh, there is one faction which actually has food. Uh, wood, sorry. Uh, so I offered them trade. I offered them uh, four food for two wood. So hopefully they will accept because who has wood? He has chance to ex to to expand. Corinth needs food, so I could offer Corinth some food. Uh, and Corinth wants to give away gold and iron and stone. Um, you said you found one country that wanted to give away wood. Was that Arcadia? Because the right now they're only no, offering. No, no, it's uh, one at the bottom, I think. Oh, oh Ellis, it's actually. Because at the uh, moment I don't have any any nation here offering wood, which is well, maybe that's hmm. because of they actually accepted my offer and they don't have uh, any surplus anymore. I think that's so. That's probably the case. So sorry, that's that's what I was talking about. <laughs> I didn't get in there fast enough. All right, well, I'm going to offer two food, and then hopefully in return I can get myself hmm, maybe coal. Right, try and get two coal out of it. I don't know. We'll see if that works. Um, he wants me to offer food. Actually, no, you don't have coal. That's why I'm offering that. I need iron, stone, or gold here. Uh, we could go with some iron, perhaps. We'll see if they accept that. So I'll offer the proposal, and we'll see next turn if he will want to accept that. Uh, boat. By the way, did you home. did you check the did you check the political map that you are not in some kind of uh, defensive pact or brothers in arms with another faction? I I just want to warn you because if you are, then I would uh, if I were you, I would just get rid of that because otherwise you will be dragged into war. Uh, once it starts, and it will start. So I you might want to. Don't believe so, because you can no? see above the flags what you've kind of got. Well, with there them, should right? be the holding hands. Uh, yeah, like I symbol. don't have that then. Okay, that's good. I'm I don't remember the setup, so. Um, yeah, I think you're fine. There you go. I have, I'll, I'll move my boat myself. Uh, you can just hang around there. Oh, I've got Spartans on my border. So I am going to fortify this location. Because I am a scared little boy. Alright, you're going to have trading soon. I'll start making a lot more gold. And hopefully I'll also be able to make myself some more troops. Because he's got a hoplite. Or hoplite. Yeah. And I've only got a peltast. I know. That's that's a big a big uh, advantage of Sparta that they have hoplites and that's even worse they have this um, uh, I'm not sure how it's called dread dread uh, ex uh, improvement for all the units which makes them um, basically fearsome for all the enemies so oh. be really careful um, you might uh, keep at least one peltast at your homeland and the other one might go to Crete or yeah, I think that's the plan. And then both Argos and Napfilo or Naf 
Naf Cleo, something like that. We'll start making um, start making myself a little bit more military. So yeah, actually, uh, looking at my citizens, I think I'm gaining five. Is that what that is? Uh, yeah. Mm. Well, it's it's probably the the increase. I'm not sure. No, no, no. This is uh, what you would get. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's probably some kind of uh, uh, calculation of, of another action we okay. were looking at. But I'm not sure. I, I have it uh, delayed. So. Oh, okay. But basically, basically, I think that next turn, once once you finish the trading improvements in your cities, it will start growing. Ah, that's a good point. Yeah. That's maybe maybe next turn I'll have I'll have twelve point nine. Yeah. Oh, I think actually was it because I selected something because it's gone now again. Don't know. Either way. Okay. Maybe 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 it's just something was uh, sticking around that shouldn't have been. All right. Well, uh, I'll again end my turn. I think that the, that hoplite on your border, uh, it's uh, not there just for fun <laughs> no, no i don't you, think you so see, either you see i i actually um uh, my my trade was accepted so i'm getting more more uh wood from corinth and that's the reason why they didn't offer it anymore see they now what i think i'm gonna have to do then is just murder corinth <laughs> it seems yeah. like the the wisest plan here well, I'm not sure if you will actually uh, be that strong <laughs> to just start the war already. You have two peltasts. Well, I'm even worse. I, I it's even worse for me. I have just one peltast here, and uh, the yeah, the relationship with Sparta is actually getting better. Oh, it's, we're now the uh, same, both now, distant. Yeah, it's distant now. So I hope that it will eventually get higher, and once it's better, I will um, I will focus on another faction. But for now, I think that it's again done. These turns, okay. I will build temple. You might also build temple if you uh, if you are able to. Uh, the reason is that it uh, multiplies the um, the bird rate in the nearby cities. So so that's a good boost. Yeah, religion's you... always been good for for making babies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm ending the turn, and you can you can play. <laughs> okay. I'll be curious about this part in Hoplai because I don't think that it's just moving around all right my trade offer for two food for two iron was rejected yeah corinth you're you're gonna die mate and I'm, I'm i'm done accepting your lack of trade opportunities all right and i think we'll have the boat start moving towards crete with a peltast both of my cities have now got their trading done cool so I think it's definitely... definitely good, yeah, because the the gold will now start increasing. So to build a new unit, I need to special. No, I don't need special. How do I build a new unit? Oh, well, insufficient number pretty... of local citizens. Oh yeah, that's that's the thing. I think that you will need to wait a couple of couple of more uh, turns, but it's now uh, going uh, going to increase. The problem is that once. Mm -hmm. Should I specialize? Really low. Maybe I should specialize uh, Naf Plio into being uh, Peltast as well. You think that? What's that there? That's Sorry, the you time. you're cut out a bit there. I I just have a feeling that I need more Peltasts because otherwise I'm going to get murdered by Sparta. Yeah, that's true. But you are already have to special specialization in uh, the in, in the capital. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what it is. It's yeah, lost. you might want to build a temple that, uh, rather than spend on the change specialization thing. Temples, ten gold, ten stone, yeah. and five citizens. Ouch! But okay, um, and I'm gonna build it so that it will. Maybe I'll build it on the coast here, so that when I eventually take Corinth, uh, it will also apply there. Well, it, the better, the best is to to build it on uh, on a hill. Okay. The reason the reason for that is that you will um, uh, that's that's a tile uh, where, which doesn't have much yield, so you will not spoil that uh, that tile. Okay, I found a hill. 
pop it there then. The people in Afplio in Troizen are revolting against your orders. Drawing too many people into the service of the state will deplete the local populations. Only yeah, old people, doesn't... children, and women stay behind. The situation is under control now, but not entirely calm yet. Mm. Well, the problem, yeah, the problem is that you simply don't have much, uh, much population now. Oh, and I don't have enough stone to repair. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, building a. a, a blacksmith and a temple so close together seems to maybe have been a bad idea. No, I think that the problem is that uh, you, um, the population was not that big to uh, to build a temple, so that's why they are rebelling, but but that's okay, I think you, you can you can keep that um, you can keep that like this for one turn and you can, uh, you can repair it later. Yeah, we'll see about that. Alright, end turn then and we'll see if Spart wants to murder me. I think that we maybe chose uh, a bit too difficult, <laughs> uh, too difficult factions. Well, I thought that you know, playing with the guy who made the game, I thought you'd be like super elite pro at it. So oh, yeah, you're, but you're it letting me down. Really, uh, you know, it doesn't change the rules. <laughs> True. <laughs> so I will speed up a bit um, the actual uh, turn because the. Uh, for a couple of more turns, I will not have much to do uh, here, and the only thing I can do is to trade. Yeah, this is the problem with these small factions. That basically, uh, there is not much to do at the beginning. It's just uh, starting a bit uh, slow. That's well, fine. It's like I'm thinking maybe to something like Civilization. Your early turns take yeah. seconds. It's when it's in the late game, you're taking a long, long time. Right? Exactly, yeah. That's just a, sort of the same thing. Okay, I'm ending the turn again. I'm just trying to improve my uh, relationships with, with Alice, the, the neighbor. I have not yet been murdered by the Spartans. So this is a, a glorious day. We're still alive. Uh, I'm going to continue moving my uh, fleet south because I want to get to um, Crete as soon as possible. So, um, are you able to to repair an Athleo? Oh, I might have enough. Uh, yes, I do indeed. It's going to take two turns. It's going to take almost all of my stone. Yeah, but, but it's I would be fine. I would suggest to do that. Also, my citizens have started recovering already. We're up to 9.8 yeah. now. It will start growing now. Sounds good to me. I think that it might also be worth to... Um, once you uh, once I end the turn, you can just leave it for, for a few seconds. So I will show uh, how it looks like when it's your turn. Okay, you know, sure. How it looks like on my side, what I see. All right, sounds good. Uh, I don't think... Uh, maybe I'll, I'll do a, try and do a trade again. Um, what, what do I have a lot of and what do I make a lot of? I think I've, food is probably going to be the best thing to trade away. I actually make very little gold, actually. Mm -hmm. Well, the problem is that you don't have much to trade. The only yeah. thing you can trade is food or coal. And the coal is also going down, so I think that um, food is the only thing you can trade. And the only one who wants food is Sparta. Oh, that's good. Oh, sorry, no, requests. Uh, Corinth wants food. Corinth wants mm -hmm. food, and they would uh, offer in return. Corinth now wants wood as well. Just just put that out there. Um, and in return, Corinth would give gold, stone, or iron. I'm going to try do this again. I'm going to do a food from me. I'm just going to give two food, and then in return, I'll try and get one iron. I'll see if you'll accept that. Uh, yes. All right, we'll see. We'll see if you'll accept that, and then I will end my turn. All right, so now we're looking at your screen. It looks like uh, Ellis has uh, accepted the trade. Yeah, exactly. They accepted my trade. Uh, let me just show you one thing. I I, uh, I can see because because we have the uh, the treaty to see the uh, map of each other. Then I can see also your land, and you definitely sh should connect this um, stone query 
yeah. uh, with with your city because you are um, almost out of stones. Uh, also, so I next... noticed that I've got some uh, Arcadian troops inside my land. I think that yeah, that the the, the reason is that you probably have um, a relation or the treaty with them. Uh, so you allow them to to go on your land. I can actually check it out on my side. So if I will just go to diplomacy window with you, and then open this uh, show detailed map with opponents, then I will see that uh, you have you have it. You have city visibility, tie visibility, unit visibility, map exchange, supply support, open borders, and peaceful passage. So the uh, the open borders that's the that's the treaty which allows them to uh, to move through your territory. Yeah. So it's all good. They are not enemies. <laughs> not yet. Not not yeah. yet. Maybe, maybe later. I, I'm thinking well, hopefully uh, not. Tegea d definitely needs to be a part of me. Well, the, I think that the problem uh, the problem is that uh, if Sparta will declare you uh, you war, then the, you will not have time to do anything else. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm sure. Believe me, <laughs> we played it already a couple of times, so. Okay, I, I will end the turn, but let, let it uh, on my screen yet. So uh, I will I will show what I see. So I can see the the moves of uh, other players, and once it's uh, Lambert's turn, uh, then I will just have. Um, I will just basically see all the all the moves he does, uh, real time. All right. Okay, so now it's now it's uh, his turn, and uh, I can be, what I what I can see. I can I can move around the map. Uh, I can also chat with him, so uh, I can actually uh, just uh, write chat messages, and uh, then I can check the the library, uh, etc. We are also going to extend it, so you will be able to check all the screens, all the stats later. But right now, this is this is all you can do. Okay, all right. so. Uh, well, back to my screen just a moment. Uh, I have technology. I now can make myself some pro Dromoy cavalry. Well trained but slower cavalry unit with good performance in flat terrain. Very, very uh, much um, something useful in the Peloponnese, which has an overabundance of flat terrain. No <laughs> mountains or hills whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, that's good. Um, got myself uh, some technology uh, the trade with Corinth was signed very nice uh, now they're taking all of my stuff um, we will unload all of my units into Crete haha -ha! objective Crete has been reached large parts of Crete are now in our possession resource yields are plus 13 wood plus 4.4 uh, slaves 3.4 gold and 2.7 iron nice yeah it's, it's a boost for you right certainly I mean... It was really easy to uh, to claim that uh, empty land. <laughs> if that was but per turn, that would be amazing. Yeah, what you can do, you might you might wanna um, you might wanna build a city there, because it's good for food. Uh, it has a lot of uh, sea tiles around. So. Oh uh, yeah, uh, but I think right now what I would like to do is get my troops back on the boats. Maybe the next turn that'll be the plan. Uh, for now, though, Argos, uh, I could specialize it to make myself some Prodromoi cavalry, but what I think I would rather do is build a stockade. It takes some resources. Uh, most of my remaining stone, actually more than all of my remaining stone. So maybe I can't do that anyway. For extra do, you, uh, do you build, or you have one settler, right? Yeah, just the one. What is he doing? I he's, mean, <laughs> he's making a road up to a. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. That's, that's good. That's a gold mine in the north, and then he's going right. to come all the way back down again and get to here. I really want to kill. I, I think Colin. that you don't have enough uh, resources to actually ma uh, build that stockade. Yeah, I don't think so either. Uh, Napfilo is still being repaired, uh, so yeah, there's not actually much I can do this turn either. Yeah. But it, it's it's already um, getting a bit better with the population, so we will be able to build something soon. What's, the, what's By this the way, little there is... symbol? Um, the shield with the, the helmet over it, over my uh, coal mine. Uh, well, it means that there are more types of units on the tile, so we can switch uh, between, uh -huh. the, between oh, the resource. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the, um, it's the settler is there. 
and then yeah. there's coal, and then we can do the same here. Okay, okay, I get it. That's good. It's good to know. Uh, also, yep, there's my chat message. Hi, Lemon. Okay. <laughs> Now, yeah. honestly, right, there is there is a right answer that you should be writing in chat. Uh, I'm expecting this correct answer. There is no other potential answers that should be written here. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see if you know your memes. All right. Uh, I'm gonna click enter and then. By the way, there is uh, one thing which happened uh, last turn. I didn't uh, comment on that, but uh, yeah, you can I can see the event now. It's basically saying that uh, the hardest warriors uh, just get out of the gate to underworld. Oh, I have and one of those. Is, oh, uh, yeah, you have the yeah you have the gate to, uh, to underworld. Uh, there is couple of interesting things related to that. First is that from time to time these guys, um, you know. Go, go out for for a for a walk and they try to destroy it, uh, anything what uh, what is in in their way uh, but you can prevent that you can uh, pay tribute to Hades it's uh, you can also do it uh, with your own um, with your own gate to underworld uh, and this means that you will pay a tribute I think it's like one gold or uh, I think it's one gold per turn, but then you will be able to build these uh, or recruit these hardest warriors yourself. Oh, they are really cheap. They are really cheap uh, comparing to the regular uh, army, but they are also they are also kind of weak. But the interesting thing is that you can you can attack other players even when you are in peace with them. So uh, so it's kind of you can it's kind of guerrilla war uh, war um, with them because. They just cross the border. Oh well, I'm certainly going to be doing that. <laughs> but it still costs something. It's not for free. But uh, yeah, you you might try that if you want to piss off Sparta. <laughs> well, would they even know it's me? I mean, they're just some dead well, no. people. <laughs> no, no, they will not know it's you. So, uh, but they will know where they are coming from. I mean, the it might be you or it might be just the gate, but they will not like it anyway. But you can try that. I mean, uh, I, I uh, personally use them some, from time to time because uh, they spread fear. Uh, so if you, for example, want to lower uh, the, I'm ending my turn. If you lower, if you want to lower the the morale of an enemy city, you just uh, take one hardest warriors with you, and it will decrease their morale, and they will eventually uh, um, surrender. E um, easier, easier or faster. Well, I'm going to definitely be uh, making use of that then. Um, you can build roads through fields and it doesn't destroy it, does it? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, good. I want to build a road all the way to... Yeah, go to that stone mine. So if you, if you pay Hades, then you will next turn be able to build these uh, warriors. It might be actually good for you, uh, just from the defensive po uh, <laughs> for defensive purposes. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's an extra unit to defend my border against these yeah, these hot exactly, bats. Yeah. So yeah, I've paid. I've paid. I'll, I'll pay him some tribute. I'm making a fair chunk of gold every turn. Um, yeah. Napfilo can build me. I think I'm going to build another settler. Yeah, I think you should, or maybe, maybe even better, build just a nomad, because nomad is cheaper. He he cannot do all the things that settler can. But if you want to build city, then the nomad is cheaper. I and, don't have uh, any city that can build nomads. No one is uh, specialized to it. All right. So in that case, you would need to build the settler. Mm. By the way, uh, the overly sensitive gamer is asking if the game has uh, any victory conditions. And if so, what are they? So uh, the game has victory conditions. Um, there are, there are uh, in this scenario, I think there are four. Uh, in the big scenario, in the campaign, um, uh, campaign scenario, there are five. Um, the first, the, the most s simple one is the overall victory, which is basically you... Um, you destroy all the all the enemies. The second one is the victory points. The victory points is um, 
uh, every every faction has a different uh, map, victory uh, points map. So uh, it has to conquer some kind of world. Uh, it's usually, of course, uh, around them, and it's it's also based on the historical goals of that uh, faction. And uh, um, once you once you achieve a particular uh, number in in this map, so you conquer a part of the world, then you will win it. There are also uh, technological victories, um, then economical victories, and there is one more. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, we might we might check it out uh, in the state window. If you, uh, yeah, if, yeah. Uh, Lambert, if you if you show that, there is basically a list of all the uh, victory conditions and how how well uh, par uh, you are doing as a player comparing to the others. Uh, victory conditions. Yeah. You, you go uh, to the state window and uh, there is the... Yeah, there it is. Military superiority, we've got technological dominance, overall victory and country development. Uh, LS is currently winning in the country development ranks. Overall victory, Sparta, although I am in third place. Hell yeah. Um, technological dominance, Sparta is currently winning that one. Again, I'm in third place. And then military superiority, I'm in second place. Spartans, <laughs> Spartans in first though. So yeah, we we need to cut this, these Spartans down to size at some point. Um, well, I'm gonna end my turn and then uh, we'll see yeah. what you have got to offer in in that regard. Yeah. So in this in this scenario, there are just four victory conditions, but uh, in the in the in the big one in the campaign, there is a uh, fifth, and it's the winning points or victory points. So I finally have trading. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for me, it's re it's a big thing. Uh, you already had it at the beginning, but for me, it's uh, it's really important. So I will just uh, continue uh, researching. Oh, I forgot uh, to do more research. My bad. I just got a, a so-called city demand. Basically, cities from time to time it uh, vastly depend on the government selected. Uh, but because of I have city state, then cities are kind of demanding. Uh, on their own and they are asking to build some improvements if i i have some uh, time to finish it right now it's five seasons which is five turns but if i want uh, if i won't start building this improvement uh, in five turns there will be lowered the uh, lowered loyalty and lowered uh, morale which is not good uh, if i will do that the the effect will be the opposite so uh, the loyalty will increase and also the the morale so i can finally build the trading so i will do it straight away in all the cities if i can afford that because that will really uh, help me to to expand and i can also destroy this uh... so these are basically right now the neutral uh neutral units so they are against everyone uh, so I will try to kill them. It's it's even good for uh, it's even good for my experience of the unit. So you can you can see this is the battle view. I, uh, it's the first time we actually see it here uh, now. So uh, this is this is the the standard properties of this unit. This is these are the properties after uh, applying all the uh, bonuses and penalties. So right now you can see that I have minus five forty percent for turn affinity. It's because of I was attacking on a, a, a unit on the hill on a hill, so it wasn't good for my uh, for my pal tasks, and I had some really low experience. And this is the final state after the battle. So you can see that uh, Hades warriors had thirty five soldiers, and they are all dead. Uh, and uh, we. Uh, we lost 106 pal tasks, and uh, in, uh, and the experience um, got higher about six points, uh, and its maximum is 100. So we destroyed them, and we get that back. But um, I'm not paying the tribute as you do, so <laughs> uh, I don't really care. Well, hey, don't... I, I might, I might, but okay, you know what? I will do. Actually, I will do it. I was gonna say, if you, if you don't, then Hades will be very upset and send just more. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If you spend, if the you problem. Sorry. Uh, if you are paying tribute, will the Hades warriors like that spawn still attack you? Uh, well, the the feature, the mechanic worked the way that once you pay, 
then uh, the person, the, the chance that the that Hades warriors will come out of your gate is really lowered, and and um, there is like certain number of Hades warriors which are coming out of those gates. Uh, so it means that they will just come more often from the other gates uh, on uh, on different parts of the peninsula. Well, I do so know there is a gate south of Sparta, so yeah. that's that's good. I think that there are four of them, or maybe just three. I'm not sure. There is definitely one more. Uh, yeah, in the south of Sparta. It's good to have that gone then. All right, um, I have been offered a treaty by Ellis. They want city and tile visibility. I'll say okay to that. Sure. I'll have a look at what they've got going on. Uh, uh, the Corinth actually rejected my offer. Well, how can we build trust between our peoples if you're going to reject my treaty offers? Well, even just having peace is actually in, in, uh, improving the, the relationship. So you just need to be patient. Ah, well, that's something I'm not very good at. <laughs> and uh, also trading. You know, if you if you offer and trade, and oh, you do. actually trade, yeah, then we do it increases. Trade and yes. if you even trade the way that you just give them something and they don't give you anything in return, that that makes it even better. That's not trade. That's <laughs> that's not something I'm interested in. No, nope. I think we'll, we'll we'll not be doing that. What I do want though is some coal because I have got a uh, I've got a road to my coal mine and to both of my coal mines. Actually, not an iron mine. Never mind. I've got road to my coal mine, and mm -hmm. still I'm losing coal. So I need definitely to trade in some coal. But I think the reason why you are losing coal is because of you are trading it away. No? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's a it's a little bit more than that. I'm losing one point five seven. I'm only trading away one. Um, okay. So I am going. But you to... have just you have just one coal mine, not two. The second yeah. one, it's an iron mine. Yeah. No, I know. Is that when I moused over it? All right, I've cancelled my trade with Arcadia. Then I'll get a different trade with them. Um, they want slaves. They want well. Hmm. I don't want to give you any of this. These are all really good things. <laughs> you know, yeah, Arcadia, away Arcadia the food. can... Yeah, you're okay. Uh, food, I'm just hovering over 10, so I think I'll leave that one alone as well. Well, uh, you can two or three... What I do want to do is have a look uh, at research. You should definitely connect the blacksmith to the uh, road network. Oh, I didn't realize I hadn't done that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because it will multiply all the, all the mines. So I need to save up to 32.9 knowledge before I can get astrology. Uh, shipbuilding as well, 32.9. That's locked. Loaded march. Can't do that. That's 49. Yeah. So I'm not going to be doing any research for a little bit. That's going to have to I wait. I think that you don't have enough resources for it anyway. Yeah, probably not. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, you're going to go and build the road to the blacksmith. I didn't realize that I hadn't done that or that it was necessary. I am going to build myself a Hades warrior, though. Because why not? Costs me yeah, two citizens. The... I guess they're sacrifices, are they? Well, the, the logic behind it is that you basically provide your own people to the Hades and he will give you on, in return his dead warriors. I choose to believe that those dead warriors are the people that I gave him. Yeah. <laughs> All but right. he turned turned them into that. We can see what all Yeah, the, of the my good thing about uh, the uh, recruiting Hades warriors is that they are also built in just one turn, uh, which is also like a firefighting uh, solution. Oh, so I'm actually uh, just receiving an offer for gift from Boeotia. And it's free wood, which is great. Well, that's um, just that I cheating. That's developer hacks. Let's be fair. <laughs> I think that they will. They will not. This will not last for long anyway. A uh, question um, from chat: Does trade affect how fast you research? It would be cool to get a tech bonus by trading with more advanced nations. Um, it doesn't by by default, but uh, there are some call, uh, so called locks in the trade um, in the invention tree. Let me show you that. And some of these locks uh, are opened by certain. Uh, I actually don't see anything uh, anything I, yet. I but, do have one of the locks, so I can pop yeah, it up in my turn. 
so there are basically uh, conditions which will uh, which will uh, allow you to unlock these for free if you if you uh, meet some kind of con uh, condition and one of those is actually trading i think there are there are like 10 different locks so so from my point of view i'm kind of stable i will build soon once once one of the city is available i will build uh, one more uh, nomad and uh, build a, build a new city and yeah. also change the government because uh, once you have more uh, more cities, then you will have to change, and I will need to change to monarchy. Oh, you don't like being a city state anymore. Well, you are fine. <laughs> you have just two cities <laughs> so yeah. far. Even with three cities, you should be fine. Uh, okay, so the hardest warriors. Okay, so now I can build hardest warriors as well, which I will do. Uh... And that's uh, pretty much it. I will be able to build a city here on the border with Sparta, which would be uh, a really good uh, defensive point if it is necessary. Okay. It probably will Let's be. And the turn. It's it's quite peaceful for now. Yeah. I'm a bit surprised by that, but uh, I don't expect that it will last for long. It's usually one of the one of the factions just start a war, and then they are keep asking the others to to join. Well, I have reached my objective population. Um, nice. So our population has grown. Building of three units was finished. Development of the shipbuilding technology is finished, and new strategic objective expansion has been agreed upon. So I just basically just got this technology. That's awesome. Yeah. That's that's a reward. Once you once you finish objectives, you get some rewards, and this is one of the rewards set for this. Achaia also wants some treaties. I will accept that. Uh, it seems like uh, Achaia, who is fairly far away from me, discounting this bit, um, they they like me more than Corinth does. Maybe because maybe I'm posturing on Corinth's border or something. I don't know. Uh, but knowledge is going up. Plus six a turn, that's good. Uh, coal is now only going down by half a point. Stone is going up. Actually, we can just hover over this to see where everything's going. Food is at around about 9.8. That's not bad at all. Wood is going up. I'm not sure how long that's going to last. And we have you can, our yeah, lovely Heidi's way you can, you can see all the uh, surplus and uh, maintenance when you just hover over that, that arrow right yeah. next uh, to the to the resource panel on the right side. It will show you all the pluses and minus. Yeah, I got that. Um, also, let's have a look. We're not resource uh, resourcing. We're not researching anything, um, but we do now have that shipbuilding, which is right here. We can now build a shipyard if we want to. Um, oh, we've also got city defense, the Patriot. That has also been developed. Didn't even realize I had that one. That's awesome. I think it's because of the one technology was uh, was finished by the objective. Nice. So navigation. Yeah, there is that lock. There is that lock. I, I just saw it. Uh, yeah. On... on navigation, I need to build a shipyard yeah. facility, and then I can build galleys. So if you hover over the navigation, you will actually see the the condition which uh, needs to be uh, meet to. Um, to to unlock it, you can you can even unlock it by uh, by uh, spending co uh, spending some resources on that. But it's co usually quite expensive. So if you don't unlock it the way uh, you meet the condition, then you will need to really spare some uh, some resources to open it. Yeah, I I don't think I'm going to be spending twenty five gold and twenty five wood. Yeah, I'd rather build myself a shipyard. Which is eleven gold, eleven stone, eleven uh, citizens, six point six wood, and three point three iron. That's still pretty expensive. It is expensive, yeah. But you 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 usually build just a couple of them or one in on this small map. You don't need more than one. Tell you what, that fort there is looking mighty tempting. <laughs> it might be. It might be useful. I'm going to build a fort on my border with Sparta. Okay. That seems like a really good idea. True. Um, and I want to get Argos to build me a settler. 
because I want to build another city. Um, I could... I think the Hades warrior, I'm just going to have him sleep for now until I have use of him. Uh, this floaty boaty boy is going to come back and unload my army back onto the shore. Uh, and then the boat, what can I do with you actually? I could sell the unit, get myself eight gold and four citizens. But I think you might come in handy at some point. You mean the boat? Yeah. I, I would sell it. You would sell it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, you just uh, the 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 thing you really had to do with the boat. It's the Crete uh, objective you have done already. Yeah. Well, you might build a city there, but if you are not planning it to do it in next, I don't know, fifteen turns, then right. it might be worth to just sell it to get some resources. So the city. I mean, it's only got one extra piece of land there but you're saying that because it's got so much water around it, it's worth quite a lot yeah but on the other hand you have uh, several places where you can build a build a town on your own land yeah so, by where the way would you once recommend you sell that where would you recommend i build my third city uh let me see i think that it's really uh, it would be nice to have it um on the on the east of nafrio there is this uh, small peninsula. That's one uh, one option, and the second is uh, close to the coal mine. Okay. Or the gold mine. The cities they cannot be next to each other, uh, okay. but uh, you can build them uh, one uh, one uh, tile further. Okay. So maybe. Because right the there. the thing is that uh, your your neighbor, Arcadia, build their city. It's called Arateria, Tiria. <laughs> yeah, I want it's that. It's <laughs> right on the border, and it's not good because, you know, this, this basically spreads an influence. Uh, so, so they are claiming, um, oh, I don't know how to say it. Bas basically, uh, if they want to influence your land, now it's easier for them than for you. Their yeah. Lands. yeah, it's rough then. All right, well, I will get my citizen who is going to be built in two turns. I will get him to build a city right here, I think. Okay. Uh, you're going to be finished building a road next turn, so that's good. The fort will be finished in a turn, and then good luck, Hoplite, attacking a fort. You're going to lose, I hope. But you will need to uh, to um, to load that Peltast to the fort. You know, oh yeah, yeah. Once it's yeah, okay. We'll get that sorted as soon as uh, as soon as it's built. All right, I'm going to end the turn then, and then back to you again. Okay. It's really peaceful now. Even Corinth wants to uh, wants to sign some treaties. Yeah, and Corinth already uh, doesn't have enough wood to supply this trade anymore. I will. Uh, this once this uh, pops up, this uh, no deliveries from the trade route. You have two options. You basically just stop relying on that uh, at all entirely. So you cancel the trade, or you just leave it, and they might have enough for uh, the next turn. So I will leave it open. And I should also build the defense for pillows once uh, once I'm able to, because otherwise they will be uh, a bit angry about it. So I still... Uh, it's really a it's slow pace, slow pace game in this matter, because... Uh, there are just uh, three cities, and I cannot do much with that. Yeah, but more, I will more have my as yeah, well. yeah. I have actually, I have the hardest warriors. So the question is, <laughs> I will. What I will do, I will at least check uh, how it looks like on the other side of the border with Sparta, because I don't see anything. Or they will. They there. will try to attack me if I stay on their land, but. Um, I will try to just move around uh, along the border. Okay, and the turn, it's up to you again. All right. Well, I'm going to use my Hades warrior. I, I kind of want to get him to attack. But the thing is uh, that uh, the Hades warriors cannot claim land. So if you attack something, you damage it. 
I, yeah, but damaging this hoplite is kind of what I'm doing. Rewarding. It for. Yeah, <laughs> that's its reward. The the territories would be nice. The killing of the enemy is the better thing. So I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna do that. Okay. I'm gonna get absolutely crushed. I feel. I but, think so. Yeah. Uh, so I had 200 soldiers, they had 1,000. Uh, I took 100 casualties, they took 380. Hades Warriors, they pack a damn good punch for the amount that you get. True, yeah. Also, yeah, this is one of the starting armies of Sparta, so they start with discipline, defense, and forager. Uh, so, ooh, he was influencing. Hmm. So that's why he took so many casualties there. I'm I'm gonna keep attacking him. I'm. Yeah, that's true. That's interesting. It's really interesting. That that's the reason why why they really were weak. So they were influencing probably the land of Arcadia because otherwise you would get the message. There would be a warn. There would be a warning that that your land is being influenced. So I think that they are actually influencing the tile of Arcadia right next to your Peltast. All right. Well, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep attacking him then. Uh, I've also set myself up to build another uh, Hades warrior. The settler is going to build the road to my blacksmith, and uh, then I guess I'll build a city. I sold my boat. Mhm. Mm That's good because because this will this will bring back to your city some uh, citizens, and you need them. You still have you you are okay now, 26, but uh, it's still. You know, every uh, Peltast, it's like seven citizens uh, going to the uh, to the army, so it's still not that much. Just gonna... don't forget to uh, don't forget to connect your blacksmith. Yeah, that's what he's doing right now. Um, I wouldn't mind training my unit. I can't do it yet. Uh, the fort is also finished, so if I have a look, there is my lovely little fort, and we will get my uh, guy to be loaded into the fort. Mm -hmm. So, good luck getting through that, Sparta. It's a basic wooden structure that can be built over several tiles to create a wall. Ooh! Ooh! Now that is certainly interesting. I might want to build another one, then. Uh, can't be built on the the Hades area though. Yeah, well, it it cannot be built on the same tile as as uh, some buildings and um, other structures. I think I'll leave it for now then. Um, Argos itself is building a settler in a turn. Napfilo is building, uh, improving Teresia's army. He went in there to train. A uh, bunch of stuff being done. Uh, the fleet is going to be sold in two turns. Alright, I'll, uh, yeah, back to you then. So it seems like uh, Sparta is not, not doing anything uh, with my Hades warrior, so I will go there again. So now I, I, can, I can attack their um, stone query, uh, which will damage it. They will need to repair it, but I will not really um, get anything out of it. So what I will do, I might just check out what's here. Okay, so I can see that they have uh, at least three hoplites. Uh, yeah, so two are close to arms. Sparta. True, two are close to Sparta. One is on your border. I'm just, I'm just wondering why he's fortified. I think that it's sign of something. And then there, there is a cavalry uh, moving around. Uh, by the way, these are the these are the myths on the map. Uh, this is called uh, this is Nayat, and basically they are providing some kind of uh, cure for um, uh, for uh, wounded soldiers or units. So this is good if you have it on your own land. You don't have it, and I think I don't have it as well. Oh, it's on Alice. So if if you will uh, ever need to be healed, then this this is a good. Um, this is a good myth to use. So still doing okay. I will I will um, get it back to you because that's the last turn. My cities are building the trading. Sounds good. Oh yeah, they are attacking my hardest warriors. 
They're not attacking mine. So I will... Uh, ooh, ooh, what's all this? Arcadia is offering tr uh, treaty changes. Uh, just a bunch of stuff, sure. As long as I don't have Defense Pact and Brother in Arms, I think it's going to be alright. So I'm okay with maybe you, Maybe you should... That. Uh, that's one of your allies, right? The objective, isn't it? No, uh, my ally objectives are, I think, it's just Corinth and Boeotia. Oh, okay, okay. Olympic Games are coming. Okay. Uh, small cost of gold and influence. Uh, if you win, great amount of gold and influence. Well, I've got yeah, some gold. Yeah, let's I've got go for weapons. that. I will. Uh, it's actually the same event which will uh, which will be shown for me, and we will compete with with each other. And um, the more um, the more participants there is, the the higher the the price is. Nice. Well, I'm gonna use my Hades warriors to again attack the Spartans. Which I'm probably going to lose the rest of my Hades Warriors, yeah. But that's fine, because I built more. Um, he was not influencing this time, and as such, I don't think he actually lost any? Well, he's fortified, I wouldn't be surprised. But did you lose your uh, your Hades Warriors? Yeah, but I built another one. Yeah, okay. Shall I attack again? Dangerous <laughs> position, free from doubt. Oh yeah, but that wasn't that bad actually. Yeah, he took 113 casualties. Yeah, I just need to keep doing it. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna go here and we're gonna build ourselves another one. Cause why <laughs> not? Uh, this guy's gonna move over here and we're going to build a new city, which is build town. Oh, it's 10 wood and I don't have 10 wood. I've got 9.5. That's that's what I was talking about. That's the problem. Yeah, I need wood then badly. Um, let's see if anyone wants to trade wood with me. Um, but you will eventually uh, get more wood because uh, so far you we were building roads and the ro the, uh, the road building also need uh, wood. So you will uh, you all almost have all the all the mines connected. So it will start um, it will increase now per turn. Alright, I'm going to offer Corinth some wood because they want it. Alright, and with that, I believe it's going to again be another end turn. Yeah, I don't like that they're doing this. Bah humbug with them. And James was saying uh, in chat, it seems like a bad idea for my Hades warrior to attack. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to the Olympic Games too. Let's see uh, who will win. AI is actually participating there as well, so it's not going to be just uh, two of us. Oh, I didn't click that button. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh, okay. I clicked next, Well, in I think. that case... I guess I'm not going to the Olympics. Yeah, you are not. So, uh, we at least see what is the uh, Spartan army. Um, look, what, is, what does it look like? So, I will go back. By the way, there is another myth. Th these are called uh, narrates. And uh, they are providing some improvements for boats but you don't have are you still have the boat he's still being have... sold it was going to take two oh, turns right. to sell it it takes two turns okay just finding so a I buyer finally... i've <laughs> so i finally finished those uh trading improvements now so i am able to start doing something settler um so uh, there is, uh, I just, I will comment what I'm doing. There is so-called strategic overview. You can hit, uh, you can press F4 or just this icon and it will show you the list of all the, um, all the facilities and units you have. So you can easily navigate and find the ones you need. And also you can filter them by the, uh, by the improvements. So if I want to see, for example, the city with trading, with, sorry, without trading, uh, then it will uh, hide all of them. Uh, if uh, if I uh, want to see the opposite, so I want to see the city with trading, then I just click on this, and it means that 
the uh, that it shows only uh, map items with these uh, improvements. I'm just checking it if I have the Nomad uh, specialization somewhere, but I don't as well. So I will need to build the settler uh, to to build a city as well. So I will go for that. I have enough wood actually. That's because of I was trading it a lot, so I have thirty. Yeah. I, I might. You know what? I will send you just uh, yeah, because you are such a uh, such a good friend in the game. I will send you. Uh, I will send you a couple of food. Uh, one off. Nice. Uh, so I like duration it. is one gift, and I will check also the the food. Yeah, it's still going. The trade is still going, or the gift is still going for five more turns. How and much does Sparta like you because of that now, then? Is he still... Long-lasting peace, active trade de deals uh, is plus, but it's uh, it's pretty minor. I the, 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 the thing is that they also evaluate how important that resource uh, you are giving them is for them. So they they definitely have enough or... Uh, quite a lot of food so for them this this gift is not that important if i would uh if they are uh demanding for example uh influence gold or slaves then the then the increase in the relationship will be will be much higher but i don't want to give them any of those but the but on the other hand uh i hope that they will not uh declare war on me yeah i think it's also that would hurt more <laughs> Yeah, definitely. It's also weird that, that the Arcadians are going on the border, but uh, let's see what's going to happen. Well, I have full vision on the Arcadians, so I guess I can have a look at that. Oh, it looks like yeah, you're... Well, I, me, me too. I, I also also see the Arcadian uh, territory, but it's just weird that they are moving to the border. Oh, the Spartans but, but were what... not happy with you. They've just moved everyone yeah, to yeah, your border. Yeah, I can see that here. <laughs> They are moving all the things they have to the on the border, and they also have a hero there. So I can now research astrology that will let me become a monarchy. Increases yields of coal, stone, and iron, but never negatively affects knowledge and citizens. Ideal ratio of slaves and its population is twenty five percent. By the way, in the in the chat. Uh... Jeff is uh, Jeff is basically part of uh, part of the part of the team. He was doing the research, the historical research, and also he was helping um, uh, helping us with the content. And uh, he's kind of um, <laughs> how to say it uh, to be uh, nice. He's really uh, um, giving attention to how we pronounce things. So he's already. Uh, uh, written to the chat that it's not uh, the narrates and Nayat, it's not how I how, uh, that I didn't say it correctly. So sorry about that. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, so I would like to build a city. I can't build one where I am at. Uh, town cannot. Oh be yeah, built that's here. a good spot. It True. Can't, it can't be built here. It can. Oh yeah, the problem. Ah, sorry. I I um because it's too close to Argos. You would need to build it uh, on the on the northeast or northwest of the fort. That's or where, where the plus the, is. The, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's actually the sign where you can build city. Okay. Oh, and then I'll just steal these guys as uh, uh, farms as well. Sure, that's the plan. Yeah, you can you can try to influence that. That's true. Once you build a city there, the influence costs will be way lower. Yeah, there we go, Lambertopolis. Nice. <laughs> All right, uh, our, um, Hades warrior, time to attack again. We will be killing the Spartan. Oh no, he's killing me. Uh, but we did cause another 115 casualties. He's down to about half strength. So honestly, for the amount that it's costing me, which it's a fair amount that it's costing me, but yeah. I think it's worth it. Uh, and also we <laughs> but, have. But what's the, what's the, uh, what's the purpose? I mean, you you want to kill them? Yes. I don't but want to I, own look, this guy anymore. I know, but the problem is that once they are really weak, they will they will just draw them back to Sparta and. Uh... And that's when we attack. Okay. 
I think that they are, they are actually going to attack me. I I see all those hoplites. I see four of them, and there is one on your uh, on your border as well. Yeah. Uh, I just think if they go and attack you, that means their forces are down here. That's when I attack. Okay. <laughs> that, that sounds good. <laughs> that might help me, actually. We, we might... You know what? I would be uh, okay if we now sign the defensive pact. Oh, is that, now you're okay with it, right? Yeah. That's because when the thing. I see all those, uh, all those armies coming to my borders, and I have just one Peltast... Uh... You know what? I forgot to build a defense in in my capital. Yeah, I think uh, I think I might actually do the same. I don't have that yet either. Oh, actually, no, I do have defense. I don't have a stockade, and I also don't have enough wood to build a stockade anymore. So, never mind. I guess I'll leave it alone for now. Yeah, that's the city. That's the city you built. I think you want to you know build another uh, city on that uh, tip of yep. the peninsula. I will as soon as I have uh, the, the don't wood for it. Forget, don't forget that you need to wait for the monarchy. I mean, if you will now build another city, then the then the city state government will really uh, be uh, inefficient. Okay. I'll, because you already have three cities thing. and four is already on the on the edge of efficiency. So expansion. You might want to build. You, you might want to build uh, one or two more farms uh, on the on the south of the Na Nafio. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, it'll be next turn. Can't do it right now. Uh, this guy, I don't think I want anything to do with you. So I guess that's going to be another. Actually, he can go to Argos a moment, and he can get trained up, um, or he can get trained up next turn. And uh, yeah, end turn. Your go again. Oh, you ac accepted my gift. That's uh, that's nice. Well, I mean. So Olympic Games ended. I, you didn't see this event, did you? Because you no. didn't uh, participate. So Olympics ended, uh, and the winner is Arcadia, and they won seventy-nine influence and twenty-nine gold. That's and a th lot. There is a list. Yeah, that's a lot. There, there is a list of participants. And basically, except for you, <laughs> all of us participated. <laughs> that's why the that's why the the price is so high. Negative five prestige. Yeah, and there was this um, the pillows uh, rebelled because of I didn't build um, the defense. So uh -huh. you can see it's not good because if I want to build now their uh, peltasts uh, or another troop, then it will have a lower moral and lower loyalty. But uh, yeah, I, I totally forgot that. Well, I forgot I... to join the Olympics. You forgot to build defenses. True, I think yeah. I know. I think I know which one of us uh, messed up most. I mean, uh, I at least I well, at least I defend my people. You just True, want to go yeah, and play yeah. games. <laughs> <laughs> I will buy. I will build another hardest warriors because this this is going. This is not going to be just uh, without reason. And if I can build, okay, I can build Peltas, but that's the, this is this is the the, the trade-off. If I now build Peltas, uh, then my, uh, the population will go lower, and lower population means also lower increase the next turn in the population because you know more people produce more people. So basically. Uh, that's what what should I do now? I, I don't know. I will probably build the Peltas because otherwise I will not be able to defend it all, at all. And I also don't have fort, so I cannot even defend like you do. What I will try is um, I have defensive pact with Arcadia, which is good. So it means that once Sparta attacks me, they will uh, they will de declare war on Sparta as well. I will try to do the same with Ellis. And maybe the open borders as well. And supply support. And the rest of the factions cannot really help me. Okay, back to you. Oh, oh, I'm being attacked. Sparta is attacking me. Like, properly attacking me this time. Uh, isn't it the hardest? Uh, oh, yeah. No, they're, they're the going fort. into my fort. Um... 
Well, that's good that I didn't assign the defensive back then. <laughs> oh my god, they're all coming. <laughs> I just saw them move off your border. Oh no, they're going after you as well. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I told you. That's, uh, they are really expand, uh, like they are trying to expand and... Yeah, they're So being now it's getting serious. Mean. But but for you it's you have two Peltast and two Hades warriors, right? Yeah. Uh, no, just the one Hades warrior right now. Two, yeah, because two <laughs> they are already dead dead. So, uh my army now current health 1.8 out of 3. Hmm. Hades warrior attack. It's a dangerous position, but it's fine because you're you're literally dead already. I'm I'm not worried about you. Wow, oh, you yes! killed Hoplite. Get nice unresponsive penalty. I didn't expect that at all. Because he had a ninety percent penalty for being unresponsive. What does that okay. mean? What does unresponsive mean? Well, there is there is a number of reasons for that, but uh, it could be the fact that they didn't pay the soldiers pay. <laughs> it could. There are there are a number of reasons. I don't know. It's uh, they know. I mean, the Spartan faction does know, but but. Um... Oh, there's actually another Hades warrior. Uh, sorry, another Spartan warrior there, who's got very very little health as well. I can't attack him. Oh, but maybe you can. Influ oh, no, I don't want to influence him. I want to attack him. Uh, do I need to get out of the fort first, though? And then I can attack, right? An enemy unit is on this tile. Yes, that's the plan. I want you to attack him. Why can you not attack? Because you've got no action points left. That mm. would make sense. How about this yeah. guy? Can you get over here? No. I mean, you, you can get over there. Well, you can though. try to influence him, but it, uh, you might actually uh, pursue that hoplite to switch side, but I wouldn't do that. I mean... Yeah, it's almost then dead. Then the, there would be... Yeah. That, that's the first thing. And second thing is that then there would be the penalty for you if you are attacked. So this guy managed to live. He, did, he was paid. Uh, we didn't manage to do nearly as many casualties, but we did a fair bit. A fair bit. We just need to do a fair bit more. All right, you there want to build some farms. Um, I want more Peltasts. Can you build Peltasts? No. Argos, build me a Peltast. So next By the turn... way, if, if they attacked me as well, I, I, I haven't seen that actually. Are you sure that they attacked me? I saw... Well, they've got a... A hero from Sparta is now oh, in yeah. Nabis. Uh, sorry, is in uh, Pylos. That's true. The, the, but the heroes are peaceful units. They can just move around the map. So they just visited my capital. That's all. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's only at war with me then. Yeah. Because otherwise, what would happen is that uh, uh, Arcadia would also be in war with Sparta. Well, let's see if he's going to do that because I've just asked him to break his uh, break his peace with Sparta and go to war with him. Yeah, true. You can try that. Um, I'm gonna see if anyone else wants to help me as well. Hey, Corinth, we're being friends. Would you like to cancel peace with Sparta? Um, I'm also fairly friendly with Ellis. Would would you also like to cancel your peace? With Sparta, and how about um, also? Let's see, uh, Achaea. How about you do the same? Um, we can talk to oh Messenia. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone go to war with Sparta. They scare me. <laughs> Wait, one more. I got one more person to ask. Baosha, do you want to go to war with Sparta? But they are really far from them. That's fine. By the way, there is there is a war. Uh... Between between your uh, neighbor Corinth and Boeotia now, I think. Uh, or maybe I'm just uh, because you don't you don't see the Corinth uh, land. I I see that. Oh yeah, I don't see that they're at war with anyone. Okay, maybe it's just. But a political uh, map of Corinth is doesn't have them at war with anyone. Achaea has a very tattered flag. 
Wonder yeah, that that's is. the happiness. Um, oh, okay. So they are going through some kind of crisis. Okay, well, that's all I can do. I have I killed a okay. hoplite. I fairly heavily damaged another. Um, let's go talk to Hades one more time. We'll buy another <laughs> warrior. And next turn, we'll use that warrior. Actually, can we use it this turn? No, he's being built still. And by the way, I'm not sure if you noticed the last turn, uh, there was uh, a Hades warriors uh, coming out of the gate uh, south from Sparta. Yeah, down here up towards Githian. So, is that that, yeah. that wasn't you though? That was no, someone else. No, it wasn't me. Yeah, that's because of we are both paying Hades for uh, the tribute, and that's why uh, the chance that they will actually come from from the third. Uh, gate is way way higher now. Nice. Oh, hopefully Githian will fall to that then. Alright, I'm going to end my turn. Up to you. Okay. So, I, I didn't expect that it will be you who will be in the war first and no one else. Maybe he didn't like my posturing on his border with the fortress. Yeah. <laughs> will you cancel peace with Sparta because of the demon from Argolis? <laughs> what can I tell you, man? <laughs> I'm saying no. Oh no, you've what did you expect? You've ruined <laughs> me. Yeah, and now I, I can see the the event you were talking about. The hero Nabis just visited my capital Pilos. Uh, basically, this is the way. Once you once you get a hero, hero uh, can appear in the game uh, after a successful battle. Uh, so once such a thing happens and you have a hero. Then he needs to gain experience so he can travel around the map and visit like capitals which uh, increase the experience. And once he has enough experience, you bring him home and uh, you can promote him to general. By the way, we should definitely do that. Uh, I'm not sure if you are able to do that. You should be able to do that. I'm not uh, able to do that because I don't have enough army, uh, na enough armies, but you should be able to hire general okay. because you have more than three armies already i think right if you include the hades warriors yes i do i'm not sure if they are included actually you need to try that but uh if you are able to do that then uh, you should definitely try that i'll give it a go okay um you should totally attack sparta and just murder that nabis guy it's like he, he's there in your capital being like oh look at us we're so actually, cool maybe i might i might be able to do that with the hardest warriors and then just, just... I will try it next turn, and I will also. Uh, I really need more uh, more citizens. Clearly, cannot... this would be a case of political assassination if you were to do that. <laughs> yeah, and I can build. No, I cannot build a city. Town cannot be built. Ah, it's too. Mm, I cannot build cities any uh, on my land anymore because uh. they are too close to each other. Okay, well, you just need to go and take some off Sparta then. You should attack them. Yeah. I think that it, it actually this this uh, particular tile would solve the problem. Yeah. So what's the... Uh, actually, uh, I, they are reserved now already. Long-lasting peace, active trade deals. It's, it's getting better. But I would really like that uh, tile. Let me just take a look if I can... If I have enough to... No. I cannot even... It's really expensive. Once the settler's gone, if he if he will uh, go somewhere else, then then it will be cheaper. So I might try it later, but right now it's too expensive. The problem is that I I build this um, this settler, and uh, I cannot do much uh, with him because of I cannot build a build a city there. More farms. So it was kind of it was kind of waste of waste of resources. I can sell him again, but. Okay, I will I will end the turn now and next turn I might build another Peltast. Oh oh there we go. You should oh, have yeah, accepted yeah, 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 yeah. You should have accepted because now you're being attacked regardless. So they they just came with the with the hero wait, that wait. attacked me. What I'm Corinth has attacked me! They've just taken Lambertopolis. Well, that's not good. Uh, Achaea doesn't want to cancel peace with Sparta. Okay. Um, Ellis does not want to cancel peace with Sparta. Okay, okay. Arcadia does not want to cancel peace with Sparta. All right. 
Miss Senny doesn't want to cancel Pizza Sparta. Uh, Pizza Sparta cancelled. Oh, Beosha, you absolute legend. What a boss. The only honourable folk in all of Greece. <laughs> but you know, they are so far away from them. That cannot, they cannot really help you anyway. I mean, this was just a formal declaration of war and they hated them any, uh, already before. Alright, I killed another hoplite. That's well, they are, and then you are doing quite well. Could be doing better. Could you know what you should what you should maybe do with the uh, with the Corinth? They uh, their supply line uh, of that Peltast who destroyed your city is uh, can be easily um, broke uh, bra broken. Uh -huh. So if you take over those tiles, uh, they will definitely try to get back to uh, to the Corinthos. Sounds good to me. How about I take the Hades Warrior and I'll, I'll just basically surround him. If I attack him now, does he have the penalty for being out of supply already? No, or is that going to be not next yet, turn? No. Okay. The only thing uh, which would save them is that uh, they have uh, supply support with either Arcadia or Sparta. So you might want to check that. Okay. In, on, the, on the diplomacy or on the foreign relations window or political map. They've got uh, supply support with Sparta. They have. Yes, they do. But they also okay. don't have a border with Sparta. Oh, true. So it won't it won't help them. But they might be a, a, they might try to actually uh, run to the Spartan border. Yeah, I would imagine so. Or they could they could go to my unoccupied fort and just sit in it. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to build another Hades warrior. Um, they've also got a hoplite well, of their own. Yeah, but you know, you know, maybe, maybe you should rather build a Peltast. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm also. He's going to be built next turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can go there and start building a farm, I guess. Um, okay. Well, hmm. There's not much more I can do this turn. He's killed Lambertopolis, the bastard. <laughs> um, I got this guy who's very damaged, but I can't heal him. He's got no action points left. Uh, these Hades warriors. I... Oh, I... actually, I can totally attack him now. Dicey situation. Let's do it anyway. It's only the dead. If the dead die, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. It was a massacre. We killed only. Mm. Wait. We killed a hunt. No, which one? This one's his. Uh, we killed fifty-seven men. It wasn't the best. Um, can you fortify? No. The, no, they cannot. They cannot really. These hardest warriors, they cannot do much. I could influence them. The morale you, is decreased by thirteen percent. Yeah, if you influence them, then uh, then they will be. They will have the penalty if they are attacked. Yeah, we'll see what he does next turn then. Uh, over to you. And now you get to deal with Sparta as well. Yeah. That's okay. what you get. Ooh. So Arcadians are actually moving to the border, which, which probably means that they are going to the war. Will you offer peace to Sparta to obey your demand from Corinth? <laughs> I can do that. I can certainly do that because this will mean that Corinth will be pleased and Sparta will reject anyway. I was gonna uh, say. Hmm. Okay, Sparta has declared war on us. Okay, I know that. And Boeotia gift seems like will not be there anymore. Arcadia as our ally. Yes, that's what I was talking about. So Arcadia as our ally declared war on Sparta. So Arcadia is is in the war with us. Oh, their um, their general is on the uh, the boats outside of Pylos. Can you? Get... Yeah, but the, no, it, it's actually the hero. The hero, yeah. That, that's the hero. Yeah, he he just escaped the Pylos, but the, but I don't have boat or anything. I, I, I how to follow him? It uh, would be good to kill him because that would decrease their uh, army morale. But I don't have uh, anyone who would do that. Okay, so. I will move my Hades warriors to the border. 
And now you can take that land and build a city on it. I know, it. I know. I will do that. I can build a city that might be actually uh, good. So I will move here. I will also finish the connection, road connection with Alice here on the on the tip of my land. And now I I could attack the settler, but I I don't think it would make sense. I will just move here and stay here. And also with this peltast, I will just go to the border. And I will wait uh, one more turn to uh, to build one more peltast because 22. That's the that's the thing. Uh, it's better to wait if you can. Yeah. Uh, so the um, the increase is higher next turn, but I should be also able to to build uh, to hire general next turn once I have three units. So back oh. to you and good luck. <laughs> I'm going to need it. Oh, as oh, are you. Okay. So they are attacking me. Oh, oh I survived. Ah, uh, they're going to attack you with more though. But that's just the uh, hardest warriors. That's fine. No, that's both of them, isn't it? Is that not your peltast as well? The, the Peltast was, uh, yeah, the Peltast was the first target, but now it's the hardest warriors. Oh god, this is not looking good. Corinth is gonna ruin me. Wait, what, what's, oh god, what are we gonna do here? Alright, our military <laughs> power is growing. Um, apparently losing a Peltast there and a Hades warrior has improved my military significantly. Um, well, what are the rewards? Uh, okay, so let me see. Army morale with Sparta improved by 14%. Army morale with Corinth improved by 12%. Uh, Markian's army in Or Orcomenos obtained assault improvement. Okay. New strategic ob objective to city defense has been agreed upon. New strategic objective military structures and new strategic ob objective Sparta has been agreed you upon. You see, now you have it even as an objective, so that would be higher reward for that. Alright, so I'm I'm doing more stuff with Beosha. Hopefully he's going to be able to do stuff. Argos in Argolis formed a militia. Mate, we're at war. Is this really the time? The locals feel unprotected as the tensions rise. Well, that's the best what, what could happen to you, actually. Oh, wait, so they just built me some yeah, yeah. free like peltasts. three units for you from, from, the, from the local citizens. Well, damn. I will take that. All right, so first off, you're going to go here. Recapture this previous city area. Um... Okay, this pelt has to go and sit on the hill up here. If you were to attack now, dangerous position. Yeah, well. Uh, this pelt has can go hell. So now you're completely cut off again. Uh, this guy, I kind of want him to head on over. You go to the fort for now. And can we get you to go into the fort? Uh, no, I think it's because you're out of movement. I think that that hill where you have temple is really good uh, place for defending. Yeah, I've got so... a dude on there right now. Maybe I should fortify this guy then. Uh, insufficient action points. Maybe next turn that's what I'll do. Uh, this guy here wants to go over there as well. You wanna you wanna uh, and uh, let settler to defend the fort? <laughs> no, I've got <laughs> I've I've just put my uh, citizen in there now. Uh, so not my citizen, my peltast. But I want okay. the citizen to go and rebuild Lambertopolis. I see. Uh, yeah, that makes sense because uh, there is still this city foundation uh, um, terrain improvement, which basically means that it will cost just one third of the costs of uh, city building. I that's you can see that with the um, with the stone on the floor, right? Yeah, I have that beneath my um, beneath my fort as well. Is it the same deal? Yeah, no, it's not the same. It's not. It's a bit. It looks a bit uh, similar, but it's uh, really just that's just for uh, eye candy. Oh, okay. And uh, the other thing is the real improvement of the terrain. Okay, fair enough then. All right, so this guy is going to be out of supplies next turn, assuming he doesn't murder my face. Um, he's warrior here. Maybe I could just go and attack him anyway. 
You might be able to uh, to really uh, get that Peltast, current Peltast, if he doesn't escape. I'm going to try and prevent him from escaping by just moving around. Yeah, him like yeah. This. I could also attack him. Short odds. Short odds is, is not good. If you don't have second, uh, if you don't have second army, which would uh, finish him off, then it might it might be just wasting your um, army. And now I have a general as well. We managed to hire a new general. Cool. A lot of hope and expectations weigh on this man's shoulders. Yes, the expectations are that you save us. Mm. So you know you know what to do with generals in, uh, in the game, or? Uh, I do, but people in chat may not. So how about you let okay. us all know? Well, basically, once you have a general, uh, then uh, there are a number of things you can do with them. The first one is that you can um, encourage your um, your military units, which means that uh, you um, that that's a special action of the general uh, that uh, he will encourage all the units on the same tile and on the adjacent, uh, uh, adjacent uh, <laughs> the tiles next to uh, next to him. Okay. And it will increase their uh, efficiency uh, in the battle. The second thing is that they can actually initiate revolts in in uh, enemies even or even French cities, so they might open the gate uh, without uh, you losing any soldiers. And then they can also go for quests, but uh, in this small scenario there are no quests; they are just on the campaign mode, campaign yeah. uh, scenario. So here, that's basically just these two things. The only thing regarding the general is that you should be very careful not to lose him because once you do the army model uh, of your uh, units drops significantly so a question about the encourage uh, you said it's um, adjacent tiles if adjacent yes yeah, sorry does that count uh, for diagonals or is it just yeah, the yeah it does it's for, yeah it does okay well then All i'm the going to move my general to argos and he is going to encourage uh, the Dryopes team. and Antichles' yeah. armies. That's right. Uh, uh, yes, there we go. Lovely. So that's you two. Incredibly encouraged. You you are absolutely loving life. It's all good. Uh, that's a dangerous position. What about if you were to attack here? Definitive advantage. Oh, well, I do say I will be attacking you then. Yeah, I, that's, that's actually um, maybe also because of the encourage that it increases their power. Uh, Pro Real, ah, you got hero. <laughs> you got also hero in this battle. That's that's great. Yes, Pro Rios is such a heroic name, uh, and uh, yeah, he is now with us. We lost only 150 men. They lost 500. Absolute nice. stack wipe. And now the hero here uh, is he also very very weak and not wanting to be lost like the uh, the general. Yeah, that's basically the same. The uh, the difference is that Hero uh, himself cannot uh, encourage or initiate revolts. Okay. But what he does is, if you have a city with uh, with lower happiness or lower loyalty, you might keep him there uh, because he is basically um, not encouraging, but making people happy, proud that they uh, that this hero is in their city. So it might uh, calm them down. Okay. Otherwise, you need to um, basically um, gain experience with the hero, and the best way to do it is to either go for quests or uh, visiting uh, ca uh, capitals of other players, but peaceful players. So I should go and talk to the capital of uh, my ally here, Arcadia. Yeah. And uh, the further the further the capital is, the the more experience experience he gets. So uh, you might also go to Achaia and Elise. Uh... I'll I'll do a circuit of uh, of the Peloponnese, yeah. Petre, then Elis, then we'll head down to Pylos, and by that point, Sparta will have fallen to our forces, and he can have his triumph yeah. there. That's that's the plan. <laughs> We'll see. You know, it, it already happened a few times um, that uh, we were playing and it, it uh, seemed that Sparta is on its knees. But once you once you get deeper into their territory, they, are, they somehow are able 
to to defend it and then the whole b battlefront basically breaks so uh it's not really easy even even it it looks like it's still going okay i wouldn't say that uh, it's that good for example on my uh, my battlefront i can see now one hoplite which is quite of uh, 100 almost 100 uh, percent healthy and he has this dread it's dread it's really uh, deadly because because it means that all the units around uh have uh, lower defense by default so Ooh. uh that's no and now what should i do i mean i will probably build uh that city there yeah, because be it might defense. be a good defensive point uh why cannot i build it unit must be okay this is you see the, the, this settler was uh, had full uh full strength full health and once he get closer to this unit it dropped Ah, oh, so so. I, so I cannot do it now. I will do it next turn. You're going to need uh, to stand on him and and defend him then. Yeah. What I will do, I will uh, move this Peltas back home, and uh, heal him, and instead of him, there will be this Peltas. Yeah, that, that, that's that this uh, extension is really something you need to take into account. Yeah. Okay, so here now we, we are connected with Alice and um, let me see if Alice would uh, cancel peace with Sparta because of me. Well, and if I they do, also... then it might be they thought, you know, uh, this guy, he didn't join the Olympics. We're not doing anything for this guy. Yeah. Uh, whereas you did go to the Olympics. And... Exactly. Yeah. Maybe they just think you are some kind of outsider and <laughs> they don't want to do uh, have anything to do with you. I don't know. Well, let's see. This let's guy see. likes Hades too much. Well, I'm not sure if I implement it in that way, but there is some kind of penalty for that. Oh, they are attacking that weak Peltast. Okay, he survived. Ooh, but now you're but they cut, cut off. They cut off my supply lines. They did, and they managed to also put a hoplite there. Mm. Oh, they, Corinth has got two hoplites now. Ugh. That's not good. Achaia has declared war on me. You... <laughs> I, I I think that uh, we will not uh, win Peloponnese anytime soon. No, I don't believe so. I think that we uh, we might uh, try next time with a bit stronger um, with a bit stronger factions because we really took the weak ones. Yeah, because we we had a false sense of superiority here. I, th I thought that when we will cooperate, we will be able to survive and uh, maybe even win, but uh, it's really difficult. These factions, which uh, are able to build hoplites from the beginning, they are, they simply have uh, quite an advantage. If I can kill one of these hoplites, I'll be happy. I killed. Uh, oh my God, they're so strong! <laughs> they're so they strong. strong. I know. They are strong. That's why every time you see a hoplite, you really need to to make a plan how to attack him like three times in a in a turn. I got massacred. This guy three times and you didn't. Uh, well, I don't have enough to rebuild my city. We still have a healthy peltast. In the fort. By, by the way, why you didn't encourage your men before these attacks? I did it last turn. Do I need to do it every turn? Yeah. Well, every turn, every turn, the general has uh, mm. um, can can either uh, you know initiate revolts or encourage men. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's something maybe for for, for next, next turn. Time, yeah. yeah. Um, I will encourage the men, although I have a feeling the men are going to die anyway. I, I also think so, yeah. But just be careful to not get uh, the general attacked. Well, he's inside Argos. 
do it. Should I back him away? Oh, I can't. He's out of movement now. Um. See, we were so worried about bloody Sparta, and it was Corinth coming in from the rear. That's the issue. Well, I'm still worried about Sparta. <laughs> <laughs> They they just cut my uh, supply line and I have like two three units there. Well, Hades warriors don't care about supplies. So, All by right. the way, Jeff uh, asked me what diff did you pick. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. It was uh, difficulty. Uh, it's ah, on what difficulty. Sorry, I told it like what the difference. Yeah, the difficulty. I think that uh, Lambert, you you just leave, l left that on medium, right? Uh, no, we we actually put it on um we yeah, put it on uh, hardcore uber difficult you put it destroying. On the hard? No, <laughs> it's on medium. <laughs> but no, no, okay, we I'm we told we totally to put it on the hard one. What's going on? <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Achaia asked me to uh, to offer peace to Sparta. I say yes because they will reject it anyway. Elise doesn't want to cancel peace with Sparta. And I have another city demand in five turns. Okay, so yeah, so let me see what's the difficulty. No, you left it on medium. Yeah, actually. no, I know. <laughs> okay. I was, I was joking. Oh, huh? yeah, <laughs> right. We, we put it on super difficult mode. So, the, the problem with... Uh, I don't have problems with supplies, and I think it's because of they are on coast and it's uh, it's close to my uh, city, so it's good. But um, I still don't know how to, how to save them. Yeah, that settler's just lost a bit more health as well. Yeah. I, I do think that... That we are done. <laughs> we're we're a bit boned, mate. I think is is yeah. the best way of putting it. Well, the problem the problem is that we cannot even help each other. You have your <laughs> own problems. I have my own problems here. Imagine uh, if Corinth wasn't a real meanie. Uh, look, I just I just uh, finished my objective. Standing army reached because of I built another hundred warriors. Nice. So I got one new peltast, which is great. Uh, another improvement of one of my units and two more objectives, but the Peltast is something. Oh, okay, this is a bit bug because he is on the on the island and I cannot do anything with him. Oh, yeah, no, that's that's not good. <laughs> yeah, so I will need to sell him anyway. Yeah, that, that's that's a bit that's a bit uh, bug buggy in this matter. Uh... So what else, what else? I will probably even sell this settler because I need more citizens. Yeah. And I will try to repair my my peltast, and with these two, I will probably just fortify. Or I can go and attack this uh, Gitten, Gition. It yeah. might work, actually. Good luck. Because the, the oh, he's also got a on... general unit there. Be nice if he died. Is it general? Uh, yeah, it's general. Yeah, that's actually a very good point. Ha! Uh -huh. I see. I, I know this game. <laughs> yeah, I will attack him. And if oh, he made it. That's great. Nice. So this basically uh, lowered their moral against our army, which is really good. For now, it it will will not win the war, but it it might help us to survive somehow. The question is if I should try to attack uh, Gitio now. I think I if think you that... do that, you're going to be attacked in your own mm, land. Mm. I will probably just uh, fortify here and self heal the settler. But it doesn't look good, I have to say. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I think okay. we're boned. <laughs> yeah, back to you, and let's see how the next few turns will... Oh, you... You jammy git. The Spartans could have given you, like, the, the, the death throes. And instead, they've left you alone. Oh, bye-bye, General. Oh, no. Aye, aye, aye. Um... Yeah, that's not good. And you, did you see the Corin's hero? He just uh... just walked straight into Sparta, just like pff, fine. 
<sighs> okay, so I'm gonna get my hero to march down to Pylos. Uh, hey, hey, did you? Did... Ooh, yay. Healings, nice. Uh, explore the sorcerer. Man sometimes uses magic to enhance the skills and training of visitors, but he can also be quite dangerous. Seek his generosity with care. Uh, so I'll go I'll go to the sorcerer and just stand on him then. I obtained yeah. the medic's improvement. It only oh, lasts a limited time. Handy. And defense improvement. Nice. Three turns. Yeah, but it's not actually that useful then. If it's on th three turns. Well, it's good for healing if if uh, if he's um, if he's wounded. Hmm. So for you, I I'm gonna just run you away. Um, have you got the ability to kill? Dangerous position. That'll be a no. What about this guy? I kind of want to unload you. And we're going to kill this guy. We're going to kill the uh, the general of um, Corinth. Of Corinth. Okay. Get absolutely wrecked on, mate. Oh, he only had one. It was it was literally just the general, the single man wandering around on his own. Simonides. Well, it's, it's, it's hero. Ah, well, there we go. He also managed to kill fifty-eight of us. So, I mean, you, know. you see, one hero just killed uh, so many, so many soldiers. <laughs> yeah, not not great. Uh, I'm gonna load my unit into Argos. Can I heal him when he's in there? Uh, yeah, you should be able if you have. Um, it depends on the specialization. If you if you if the city is specialized for that unit, you should be able to. Okay. Yes. So how would I do that then? Uh, just move there uh, on the Argos uh, tile, and then you should be able to just heal. You don't have to enter. Uh, oh, I don't. Okay. Uh you you just built a new unit there. I'm so okay you... with that. I'll take that unit. I didn't yeah. even realize I had done. But the, but the but city or basically all the map items can do just one thing at a time, so you cannot heal the other uh, Peltas now. Okay. Well, never mind then. Um, this guy, I think, I would like to fortify, but I also don't mm, think I can. Once it's uh, one heat, uh, one uh, unit is in a city, then it's basically having a special bone uh, defense bonus. So it's the same as as uh, fortified. Okay. Well, I, I'm just gonna keep you there then. Mm. Um. I'm running out of options as well. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Uh, where? Do, mm, mm -hmm. Corinth, do you want some peace? Is that a thing that you? So would you want a okay peace with? now when they they took, um, you know, some territory of yours? They this, this doesn't count. Team. This doesn't count. They didn't destroy it. Well, yeah, they did. They totally did. But I mean, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> they are so strong. Uh, well, there's nothing I can do else this turn, yeah. so I guess... I think um, that we, we might just try two more turns and we'll see both that... Uh, we probably will both lose. Yeah, you can you can try the uh, army uh, army moral boost oh, next turn. I can't because I don't have a general anymore. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's in diplomacy window. It's for the whole army, not just for units around. Oh, okay. I, can, I, I will show you on my screen. Did you... I'm watching... Mine? Your... Yeah, I'm watching your screen now. Okay. So, peace with Sparta was successfully signed. Oh, you can just... you it's because of the offer. Uh, I'm not sure which nation wanted me to offer it. Uh, and that, that's uh, really because of they like that, uh, like that uh, other faction. So, they, they signed peace because of they like them. You jammy yes. So, maybe I will survive. <laughs> and you, you see... Will you cancel Sparta is asking, will you cancel peace with Argolis because of the demon from Sparta? <laughs> it's you. So, I know. Well, I, I, you are too far uh, anyway. <laughs> Wait, did you do it? No, oh. I didn't. But I, even if I would, I, I have no way how to get there. 
I mean, uh, with Argolis, well, with Argolis, I, oh, sorry, Arcadia, I actually have open borders, so I might be able to get there, but um, I'm happy that I survived. So I'm, I'm actually fine. I will build the city there. And then influence it away from Sparta, the, the connecting land. Maybe, yeah. But I don't think that uh, <laughs> you will survive this anyway. And I, don't, I even don't think that I will survive it. This is just a matter of time that, or when they uh, declare war on me again. Yeah. But on the other hand, uh, Arcadia is actually helping you on the sou southern borders. Yeah, they're, uh, they're doing all right, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, last turn. Yeah. Or you want to? You want to? I see mean, I think Argos Argos will probably fall this turn. I, I have a feeling that the uh, the two hoplites surrounding it are going to do quite a bit of damage. Um, we'll see. Uh, I I hold I, little I hope. Able to, I might be able to send there my hardest uh, warriors. Actually, I will. I will. I will try to get there. Okay, so your turn. I'm really curious if they will destroy you or not. <laughs> Tell you what, the uh, the Arcadians had a pretty decent Peltast unit there. He absolutely yeah. ruined them. True. I got this defensive bonus. And I still died. It looks like uh, Baosha's hitting... Um, Hitting Corinth in the rear, though. Oh, yeah, that's Magara. actually uh, in your favor. Yeah. Well, they joined that's... the war for me. Yeah, that's good. So you visit, uh, So you just visited my capital, right? Yes. So how do you like it there? It's peaceful, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you... <sighs> hey, I got... I can become a monarchy now. Yay. <laughs> Ellis has cancelled all treaties with you. Nice. With me? No, with me. No, with you. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> because you know, Ellis is far away from you. Oh, because he, he wants he wants to do a different trade. He wants to um, give me stone, coal, influence, and knowledge, and then uh, he's just basically saying, "What do you offer for this?" I don't yeah. know, like three gold and two iron. There, you, there you go. That's different my proposal. Ways how to trade. And one of them is this, it's called free counter proposal. So they um, they don't say how much you uh, are able, uh, you are willing to give them. It's up to you to choose and then they will negotiate the counter counter proposal on their side. I've got equal chances. My guys are full health versus a very badly damaged hoplite. And take hey, oh, we yeah. won. I did so lose you, you... 500 so... men though. So there is actually just one hopla. That's it, because the rest of the Corinth is now under attack from Boeotia, which means you should be able to survive this war as well. You might cut off. Ah, uh, you don't have any more troops, because that hoplite you might cut off the supply lines. Uh, yeah, maybe next. But turn you don't have uh, possible. You don't have any units there. Uh, I've got I've got this guy. Well, it's a settler now. No, this is a Peltast right here above Argos. Okay, sorry. And then if I go to Argos, uh, there is a unit inside, I believe. How do I get to you? Argos will finish. Oh no, he's still being a unit. Okay, so you. Um. Uh, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this then? Necroscope is asking where I'm from. I'm f uh, you, if you mean what country I'm from, I'm from Czech Republic. Doesn't know the Hades warrior. I'm sure I have uh, something else here. Cleobus's army will. He's not got any movement points left. Uh, I had a, a suggestion that I should build some dudes in Napfilo, but he could only build settlers and boats, which is not helpful in this situation. Yeah, that's that's the specialization. Do you remember? Yep. I, I actually uh, was advising to not add a specialization there, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All your fault. Um, 
I was fighting over a river. Where was I fighting over a river? Why are you talking about James? I don't think I was. Because this isn't a river, this is the, the borders of Corinth. Maybe that's what you're thinking of. There's no river here. Um, yeah, I mean, I've cut off this this army. It's currently got himself a, a big old um, fortification around him. Mm. What I might be able to do... Can I hire another general? And I'll no. take my... Well, I can. I, I'm sure of it, because I just did it. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, I, because of you lost that, that one before. Yeah, in that case, you can. Because I'm wondering, can I influence this guy? Well, it's um, general is influencing cities. Oh. It's not like uh, so. Not really. Not really this way. I tried you to... might try to influence Corinth. I mm. mean, the capital. That... Mm. No. There are no units there. The general died. The general died. Yeah, he got ambushed. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't yeah, know people... that was a thing. Oh no, he's still alive. He's still alive. Okay. Um, so what I can do is, uh, yeah, I can, uh, I can provoke an uprising in Corinth. Yeah. Sure. Let's try that. It lost morale by 1%. Mm, that's not much. All right. Well, we'll see what happens in the next turn then. So maybe we will actually survive that. Well, no, because Sparta's no longer at war with you, so he's coming north. There's only a thin line of uh, Arcadians <laughs> stopping them from yeah, rolling me over. True. I'm I, very I, dead. Uh, <laughs> I actually finished another objective, population. So, uh, building of one unit was finished, which is probably the repairing or uh, healing unit. Uh, specialization, I uh, was added one specialization to my city. Uh, technology was finished and some resources, which is great. Well, you can now build boats. I is... can build boats, yeah, but what should I do? What would I do with boats? Well, you could have got that Peltast off the island, but... Yeah, but he's gone already. Yeah. If only it happened Corinth... one turn earlier. Corinth want uh, wants to trade with me and he's actually uh, offering a nice trade. I think that it's because of his lack. Of, uh, he's actually having lack of food, and that's why he's uh, he's able to give me all that for one food. Good. I hope he starves. He is probably. That's that's the reason why uh, why they are offering that. Yeah, he's lost. Well, he's almost lost Megara. Mm. So it's just the capital. So what? How how can I somehow weigh in with this? Uh, uh, this is your right. This is uh, well. I don't. I I think I'm very dead. But we'll see. Um, well, I I do is... have their hop like cut off. Uh, so we'll we'll just have to see how how it how how we do really. I'm out of food, uh, I'm out of wood. That's not great. You are out of wood. Okay. Well, I can send you one off again. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I said, it's not going to matter as soon as uh, Sparta rocks up with their uh, true with their guys. Well, I might be able to somehow attack them, but I have two Peltasts now. Well, this this one will be healed in... Uh, where is that? Just a sec. Oh, yeah, it's actually building the specialization now, so I have to wait to to be able to heal them but uh, i will have three peltasts which might be uh, which might help and they are not that strong anymore they have uh they have one uh, one hoplite here he's kind of finished i might actually finish him with my uh hardest warriors yes let's see i might help you with it this way it's a unofficial war so let's see if they make it. Oh, yeah. The so dead are on our side. One hoplite less. He only had 140 men left, yeah. Well, that's good, at least. I also built myself a new Hades warrior. He's going to be done in my turn. Okay, here I have to wait. There is not much else I can do now. 
and I can influence that land again, but Sparta is now peaceful. You see internal administrative changes. They change their opinion and want to be in peace. I, I, I think it's disgusting, really. <laughs> peace with the Spartans. No. Not having that. Uh, well, uh, I can actually try to... Uh... But I would, I, I would be able to influence that land only once this turn. I have just 17 uh, influence and it will not uh, be enough for second influence. So that's the, the chance is quite low that I would take it over. But what I will do, I will finally hire the general. General Falinos is ready to, uh, to help. And what I can do is I can actually initiate revolt in this uh, Gideon city. Nice. So I will try that next turn. Or can I do it now? I can take a look how it looks like. Yeah. So it is possible to initiate the revolt there. So I will try that now. I will go there and initiate revolt. No, 3%. That's not much. And I don't have... Uh, uh, resources to influence it anymore. So, sorry. That's all from my side. <laughs> oh, it looks like uh, Sparta also has some Hades warriors. Mm -hmm. And looks like those uh, Arcadians are being very much surrounded, and I don't think they're long for this world. Oh, look. Mm, he's just run around. You mean the hero? No, the hoplite, the uh, oh, right. the the Corinthian one. Oh, ah, Megara has fallen to mm. the Boeotians, though. Okay. So it eventually all worked out for you. I mean, Corinth is without armies. It seems like they are without armies. They have the last uh, hoplite, and that's it. Uh, so I'm going to start off with my dead man. I'm going to try uh, and attack him. Equal chances. Heels, heels yes. Uh, asking, what's the benefit of having a hero becoming a general instead of just purchasing the general itself? Uh, with the state decision, a uh, higher general can be used only when you don't have any generals. So, uh, so yes, it's definitely better to hire a general when you can. But once you have one, uh, you cannot do it anymore. So if you want more generals, then you need to um, to promote a hero. It's definitely good to have more generals because uh, the if you use the encourage action on the same uh, same unit twice, it basically just um, doubled the the bonus. Absolute supremacy. Here we go. Die, you hoplite bastard. So yes. now it's, a, it's, a, it's actually a question who will take the, the spoils of war. Because Corinthos is, is empty and, uh, and uh, you know, they have quite a lot of resources there, that's for sure. Because uh, that's the last uh, warhouse of the, of the faction. Uh, but they I have the, have the sto uh, stockade there, so it's not that easy to to um, to win it or conquer. Hmm. It's gonna be certainly a challenge. I want to just kill Corinth. I'll, I'll be ha even if Sparta murders me. I'm moving everyone north. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna build another Hades warrior. Uh, all right, your go. Okay. I can still uh, still come over with those hardest warriors. Arcadia is like holding the line for me. The th yeah, true. The thin pink line between uh, Sparta and my eternal destruction. <laughs> yeah. Well, they are good allies. 
That's, uh, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, they're your ally, not even mine. True. Okay, I need to build these defenses uh, because otherwise the the cities will get uh, will get angry. So that's one, and Pillows wants also defense. So I might try the second time to uh, to initiate revolt in Gideon. Um, yeah, well, let's let's try that. No, three percent. It's not much. The problem the problem is that uh, the stronger the faction is, the the more difficult it is to to pursue the city to change sides. So I will move to Hardest Warriors. So what, how can I help on on this uh, battlefront with Hardest Warriors? I don't know. Find yourself I a need... really defensive area between uh, Sparta and Argos, and hold. Just just hold. Yeah, well, <laughs> the problem. Yeah, will also uh, try to attack me because yeah. for them this is an enemy. They they don't have a banner. They. They don't have a na uh, like nationality, so they will try to attack me as well. Um, although they're, you're currently in Arcadia's uh, territory, so I yeah. wonder if they're uh, if Arcadia is going to be um, trying to get rid of you. Probably, yeah. But I might help to attack this hoplite, and if they will attack the hoplite again, or or I can uh, attack these hardest warriors, Spartan hardest warriors. Yes. Okay. Die, dead thing. And now you're in good defensive terrain in Spartan territory. It's fantastic. True. So I can uh, bring over the second one. But basically, this is, a, this is a war of hardest warriors here. <laughs> <laughs> the legions of the dead are on our yeah. side. But this, this break really helps me uh, to get back on my... Uh, on my uh, get back uh, the the units. Yeah. To heal them. Okay. So let's see. So it might it might be like a like a final goal to um, to conquer Corinthos, right? Yeah. That that's gonna be the idea. Yeah. Oh no! They've got a Peltas now. But the Bo uh, Boeisha also uh, attacks them from the north. So they are ge getting closer. See, I saw you trading with them. I, I think Corinth <laughs> wouldn't have had enough yeah, for yeah. that Peltas. You can see, yeah, you can see the dash line coming to Corinthos. That's my, my, that's my trade. <laughs> Ew, they are actually snake. good business partners. It's nice to to do business with them. Oh, they pay well. Alright, so I'm going to get this Peltas to go and stand here. And now you're all cut off. Uh, we're going to have our general man. I'm pretty sure you're beneath you. There you are. General Boros is going to provoke an uprising, or should I it encourage? Wouldn't, would, wouldn't it be better, instead of uprising, to actually uh, use him for encouraging all your units which are going to attack the Corinthos city? Yeah. I mean, they will. it will increase their, uh, their attack power. I'll just get as many units around him as possible, then. But one of your peltas has uh, has attack uh, attack for zero, so <laughs> not sure if, if it makes sense to try that. Uh, yeah, he should probably get healed then. Ooh, yeah, you should definitely get some healing. Well, all your units need healing. That's fair. Except for the hardest warriors, they are okay. Because they're absolute legends. They don't care about <laughs> being killed. Right. Uh, you can't move. All right, you move to here, and then where's my general gone? There he is. 
Encourage the armies. Oh, it doesn't. He can't encourage Hades warriors then. Makes sense. Yeah. But still, an so enemy unit is on the well, travel. Well, it will still encourage three units, right? Uh, yes. But two of them are almost dead, <laughs> like the Hades warriors. We're in a dangerous you... position here. Uh, I tell you what. Hey, give me some more Hades warriors because they're really good. Well, they're they're not. But they're good enough. They do the job. Yeah, I know. Sometimes they are really helpful and can can help to not lose the war. I don't attack that guy. Did you attack him? No, I didn't. I've got don't uh... because because he he probably will change sides next turn. Yeah, I I, I didn't have the the reach anyway. Oh, actually, I did. But it's a dangerous position, so it seems like mm. a poor. A poor choice of things to do. Um, Alright, I think this turn I can't really do anything else. Mm. Ooh, we can do a spy network. Gathering information about neighboring countries is a vital part of political decision making. Uh, attention of those nations. Ah, I was hoping it would help me uh, kill them better. Well, it will simply just tell you uh, how many units, um, military units and um, things like that. Uh, other factions have, so it's not that helpful in this situation. You can try. Oh, you cut out there. What was well, that? Uh, it will um, speed up all the all the buildings, all the recruitment. If you are now recruiting a unit, then this will this will finish it next turn. It's going to be finished next turn anyway. Yeah. Maybe next turn I'll, I'll turn it on. All right, but right now there's nothing I can do, so. Um... Mm. There you go. Okay. Something is... Oh, Alice has declared war on us. <laughs> 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 Things going well okay. then? Okay. Well, then I just changed one enemy to another. Basically, yeah. And I finished objective independence. That's that's the objective where I was uh, was able to survive. I don't know twenty or twenty five turns. So nice. uh, I have spy in Sparta who reported four active military units. So that's interesting to know because we can count what we see. I and see the rest. two. Uh, then there is uh, it has five cities. Army morale towards me is average. Happiness they have really happy people and they are struggling with lack of coal. And I also have a spy in Arcadia. They have two military units, four cities. Army towards me is high and happiness is high. And I got some resources and building of three units was finished, which is really great. Nice. So it will help me. This is, by the way, I just um, did what the city, dem uh, city demanded. So you can see that uh, the request to build was uh, finished and they are, they are pleased. Uh, which increases the loyalty and uh, more of the of the city. Arcadia as our ally declared war on Ellis. Arcadia <laughs> is our best friend, isn't it? Yeah, Arcadia is absolute legend. So you see that it took just how was the turn? It's twenty first turn, and it's really now it's a war everywhere basically. <laughs> I think um, in this scenario. Probably next time, if I try it again, would be uh, I'd be Corinth. Because then, Corinth. You, uh, yeah, as soon as you take out Boeotia, but you you cannot do that. I yeah, mean, it's really it's it's the best to be Boeotia. <laughs> well, okay. Well, can Boeotia also create hoplites? Yeah. Oh well, then I'll be Boeotia then. <laughs> Easy. It's it's a good starting position actually. Yeah, I mean, because you've got nothing, no problems to your north. Mm. Just not being able to be attacked from multiple fronts is huge. So I will try to uh, initiate revolt in this city, Asopos. It's it's smaller, which means that the chance that I would be able to uh, to pursue them to switch sides is higher as well. No, four, but four percent is more than one percent. Yeah. And I will need to get back to my borders because of Alice. Okay. You you see they have three peltas on the border. 
Mm, that's and rough. I have altogether two. <laughs> You've also got the Hades Warrior. Yeah, and I have. Oh, yeah, true. I have a Hades Warrior. That's true. I will build another one. And I cannot move this uh, this guy from Ibia because there is uh, this Spartan border. And Sparta is hostile to. Revolt. Oh, you're going down so... as well then. <laughs> he probably doesn't like no, that but... you're inciting revolts. But yeah, that's that's the reason. Yeah, yeah, that's the reason why uh, why they hate me because I'm initiate revolts in their in their cities. Okay, back to you and good luck. Oh, go on, Arcadia, hold the line. Oh, what a legend fortress that you've made. But the, but uh, this is actually a good example how an ally can be in Imperiums uh, useful, because once you have these uh, en uh, common enemies and you have these open borders, they really try to uh, to be good allies and try to defend. Uh, so um, we have an alarming lack of wood again. Um... I just sent you five. I know. <laughs> I used it already. <laughs> Uh, so, so we had Baosha attack Corinth uh, with some of his cavalry uh, and fail horrifically. Um, but that doesn't matter because now it's our turn and I'm going to get these Hades warriors to go and attack Corinth. Well, first, uh, you, uh, yeah, bef before you attack with the regular army, just don't forget to encourage by a general. That's yeah, good good idea. But yeah, we'll get the we'll get the Hades warriors to go first though. Cuz I wanted to see just how badly damaged the city is, like how close are we to being able to take it. All right. Um uh, Okay, it it already lost the it already lost the defense, the, the stockade. Nice. So now it's you see no, that there are no still walls. There. Oh. I mean, it looks like it's still there on this screen. Okay. Oh yeah, if it's lost it then. Yeah, it does. Okay. So now, General Man, you can encourage. And we'll get the other guy that's here. Is there another one there? No. Oh, how about this guy wants to get on there and then he wants to heal inside. The other guy can go up this way and he can attack Absolute Supremacy. Ooh, here we go. And I've taken nice. it! Yeah, <laughs> nice. Corinth has fallen! So the, so I think that the, this is actually the last unit of Corinth that Peltast uh, on the on the west. Our military officers advised that an Asclep Asclepion Asclep Temple of Healing could be built for the wounded. Um, it's something like a hospital, ancient hospital where you can heal your units. Oh, and I've just I've just done it. That, yeah. that, that button just Well, you it. need you need that. <laughs> yes. This was a bold step. You should renew what this new situation means for you. Uh, what it means is that I rule and uh, Corinth is a big old bag of drool. If you if you destroy that unit, I think that it means that Corinth like a faction is gone. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Corinth was defeated and all active units disbanded or joined the army of another state. So congratulations. So you are actually the only player in the game who was able to defeat another faction. Yes. That's a big achievement, really. <laughs> but 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 to be honest, it's uh, it's partially because of Biosha. No, don't don't give me that. Don't give me that <laughs> jib. I took Corinth. Me. You did. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm also going to immortalize our triumph uh, by building a uh, battle ah, memorial. Okay. Yeah, that is basically what it means is that uh, it will uh, decrease or increase the loyalty back to normal faster if you do it, because this you will show show that you are um, that they were worthy enemies. I also built a big old lion. Yeah. Which is nice. I, I, I'm 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 happy with that. We could enslave their citizens. Um, I think for being so rude and evil, absolutely you're going to get enslaved. Screw you guys. <laughs> Sorry. 
So you basically build them a memorial and then you enslave them all. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. That's that's really that's really nice from you. Uh, I mean, they, these... they, the people must be the people in Corinthos must be really puzzled by what what the hell a, uh, of a leader you are. <laughs> This is my hill. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure those are your Hades warriors, right? <laughs> um, I, I'm not. Yeah, maybe. The, no, no, no. I have the ones. They are uh, on the south of Tigia. Oh well, damn it! <laughs> I just killed some Hades yeah, warriors. That, I thought they were I'm yours. Talking about. Look, I can tell you which is mine, but you don't see it. You just see the flag yeah. with the question mark. That's the. That's it. So you don't know who's who. There, they don't really care about banners. Yeah. Victory for Argolis. I am the winner of this campaign. <laughs> so you really took everything back and expand your uh, your country to the north. That's 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 a quite an achievement, really. I'm definitely not doing that well as you do. Yeah, it looks like you're having a few troubles. Yeah. Corinth was defeated, okay. Damn right they were. <laughs> oh, I have a hero, actually, from that defense uh, defense fight. Nice. General Charilos. But I also have some problems uh, with rebellions and stuff like that. Okay, so I guess uh, we will probably end it for today, right? Yes, I think let, so. let me finish this turn. I will just kill the intruders. Which I can, uh, hopefully, yeah. Nice. And that's... And I can go to Sparta with this hero, because Sparta is now in peace with me. <laughs> which means I can I can visit them and tell them hi. Sup, so, leave, leave Lambert alone. <laughs> also, I rebuilt Lambertopolis. Of course, I, I, I saw that, yeah. Naturally, it had to be done. Um. So I think it was uh, actually a good a good run. It, for, it started a bit, a bit slow at the beginning, but this was interesting. Yeah, for sure, it's an interesting uh, scenario. I think as the the, um, the bad thing or the disadvantage of the of it is that uh, you don't really have the the mids except for this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Naya, 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 Naya uh, narrates. You basically don't have all these quests, and these quests really make it way more fun. Okay. Because you go for the Golden Fleece and uh, uh, the Gorian Knot and uh, all these things, which makes it more interesting. In but my yeah, in my uh, Sparta game, I did go for the Gordian Knot. It was in um, it was in the islands in like Lesvos. Yeah. Oh, your your guys get dying. Oh no, he lived. He, he, now he's dead. Well, I was expecting that anyway. That he's just, he's there just for you. <laughs> I mean, he's defending your own hill. Yeah, you see, you see now uh, the Sparta. <laughs> it looked like they are uh, they are da uh, done pretty much, and, and they're now all they are back. they are coming back again. Yeah, that's that the same thing would happen to uh, to us when we were playing and we thought Sparta's dog is gone, but they basically just okay. somehow get back on. And now I'm being attacked by the Achaeans. <laughs> <laughs> it never ends. It just killed two of my units. Oh, OK, yeah, but we will we will leave it there then um, sure. for, for today. Do I want to cancel peace with Ellis because of Arcadia? Sure. Go on then. Uh, right. Well, that was a lot of fun. Um, definitely recommend playing perhaps Beotia uh, in this scenario or Arcadia. Mm. I thought Arcadia would be in a very weak position, you know, being it surrounded. Uh, but they it seemed pretty good. Position, yeah. But they seemed very, very strong at least. Uh, but yeah, it's a fun scenario. Definitely give it a shot. Um, so where can people find uh, out more information about Imperium's Greek Wars? 
Well, yeah, if you are interested to find out more, you can go uh, to our Steam page or our own website. Let me just uh, paste it to to the chat. Uh, if you decide that you like the game and want to buy it, then uh, we would appreciate if you buy it on our website where it is 10% discount. Uh, so it's even cheaper and also it's um, you are supporting us directly instead of through Steam. You will you will simply get a Steam key as well, so it's absolutely the same if you buy it on our website. So, Lambert, thank you very much for streaming this. Uh, I really had fun. It was uh, interesting. I'm, yeah. I'm really happy that everything worked as well, because uh, I was a bit worried about technical uh, difficulties that might come up. Yeah. And thank you guys, everyone, for watching. Uh, it was a pleasure to, to show you the game this way. Yeah, it was an absolute pleasure to have you on. So uh, thank you very much for uh, for joining me. Uh, for people in chat, I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube later, then uh, you know likes and comments are always appreciated. And uh, yeah, give it give it a thumbs up if you liked the game, if you liked our if our if you liked our little campaign, and uh, let me know what you think. So uh, yeah, thank you all very much for watching, and we will see you um, next time, perhaps. Have a good night. Bye bye.